Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, one and all. And welcome back! I sound like a circus ringleader for a second there. Did you hear that in my voice? I was I was I was getting all bombastic with it. <laughs> Pardon me, because I mean it's been it's been a hot minute. It's been I mean I didn't stream on Friday like I wanted to, and then I didn't stream yesterday because it was Thanksgiving. So now it's it's been a, a whole big long weekend since I last seen you. How you been? Allie, hello, hello. Is that a mod I see? Welcome. Hugs to anyone who needs one today, indeed. Hugs always. We we offer eternal hugs around here. I saw, yeah, Sarah Yams, you're sick today. Hope that you uh, hope that you get well so soon. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Otherwise, how are people doing here? Hope I'm feeling better. Thank you, Priya. I am doing I'm honestly doing pretty great. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie. And not just because B-Boss graced us so early. What are the odds, dude? I'm in a great mood, and the music sensed that and immediately is like, all right, let's get this party started. We <laughs> People are still rolling in. They're going to roll in and be tripping over all the bees that are all over the place. Holy moly. Just a sore throat and a headache? That's. I mean, it's uh, it's still not fun for sure, but at least that's not terrible. It's rare that you get B-Boss before we even get into the game here. I've, I've been live for like two minutes. <laughs> what an introduction, indeed. B-Boss has just been waiting all this time. It's been it's been anticipating this all weekend. The bees have just been buzzing in the background, swarming within my computer, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And here we go. B underscore boss dot OGG. Did you guys see Concerned Ape? He's been on a roll lately. He announced a Stardew Valley like concert tour. Like there's like it was like seven hours ago or something on Twitter. I don't have the screenshot with me right now. But there's a there's like a concert that's going like across many parts of the United States, but all and a part, also parts of like a lot of other countries like Canada, uh, Australia, over in over into like the UK. It's like all over the place, and they're gonna be playing like Stardew Valley music as like an orchestra. I'm like I, I'm like dying. I, I I wish it was somewhere near be near me because I don't think there's anywhere that nearby I, I, I that's also actually sorry i'm tripping over my words just because i'm thinking i didn't look too closely at the ones that are in the states because i am like not that far from certain parts of of the united states so i could probably maybe go to one of those but toronto i mean toronto is like not that far of a flight but it is like across the entire country for me so Plus the hats on pets. I mean, arguably that's even more important. He did also announce hats on pets coming into uh, coming into 1.6, which I am stoked about. Um, there is like one hat that he pictured in that screenshot as well. It's like a blue bow that I don't think is actually in the game yet. So he's teasing new hats while he's doing this. It's crazy. Hey there, funny fox. Welcome on in. Yeah, Seattle, Seattle has a show. Seattle might be my best bet then if I want to get somewhere that's nearby. Either way, Concerned Ape, he's just been on such a roll. Could you could you imagine what if? I know it's a Stardew Valley concert tour, but what if they they sneak in a little B underscore boss dot OGG <laughs> in orchestral form? Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. I think I missed your first one as well. Yeah, you did that twice. Yo, thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate the generosity and support. Hat percent about to get even longer, honestly. Yeah, but I'm in a great mood in large part because I've been, um, I've been, I was struggling with a creative block on this video that I've been working on, the Master Angler video, for quite a while. There was like this one part of the video that I could not get to like feel right, and I finally got that the way I like the way I liked it. And then when I stepped back, I realized, oh wait. I'm like getting close to being done with this video now that I've got this creative block out of the way. Things just started to flow. It was just, I was just in a feel good state. And then I like look at it and I'm like, wait, I'm like, it's like getting like I can see the end of the timeline. It's like crazy, dude. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to editing these days, I should say, because 
that creative block was was styming me quite a bit. Iron Man challenge about to get longer tooth. True, true that. Either way, I digress. That's that's what's been on my mind lately. Um, before we get into the game today, before we get into Beatrix and her randomizer shenanigans once more. Well, number one, I see Nightbot telling me to hydrate. Thank you, Nightbot. I do have my water on deck, so I'm not concerned about that. But I will get you to, to give me my goal here, to gain a fishing level. I think I know how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna wanna do that, but we'll discuss that in a moment anyway. Um, we got a few things to go over before we get into the stream today. Starting with, as per usual, we got a little bit of fan art. We got a little itsy bit of fan art to go over today. So let's get right into it. Bam! Look at this, from Ice Sucho. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you pronounce that on Instagram. But look at this rendition of, of Beatrix in her little summer outfit. I love this art style. This is super cool. This reminds me of like, uh, I don't even know if this, I didn't actually, I haven't seen this art style in so long. But something about this harkens back to Le Petit Prince, the, the Little Prince. So it's like a book that I read in like, in like middle school and the art style kind of like, it's giving me vibes of that. I love this. It's almost like, I don't know. I love it. It's very well done. The curl of the hair, yeah. It's very cute. Didn't forget the Tropa Clip right there. The Tropa Clip. Very nice summer outfit. And hey, speaking of the summer outfit, our other piece of fan art today from Mix Math. Also, the su also Beatrix's summer outfit in their own signature style that I have also come to love quite a bit. Look at this Beatrix. She's so... She's, I think she's like girl bossing. Is that what the kids call this one? She's girl bossing right now. I love it. Clearly this outfit struck a chord with people because this is a good outfit. <laughs> and, and there's good art of this good outfit. It's very well done. Thank you to M Mix Math on, uh, on Tumblr. Thank you to all the fan artists who have contributed fan art over the past however long it's been. It's been crazy. <laughs> It's been crazy seeing all the talent on display, and if you'd like to have your talent on display on stream, exclamation point Discord, there's a link to the Discord in the description below the stream. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited, and all that fun stuff. And hey, you know what? Speaking of the Discord, we are actually, this is the this is something I got to announce, and I'm very excited to announce it with, hold on, hold on a minute. I got to get, I got to get things set up here the right way. Yeah. So if you've been hanging out on the Discord, you may or may not have seen, we have a special little spooky Stardew event going on. It's going to be a month-long event um, until, like, November 1st. Yeah, 10 p.m. EST on November 1st. Um, and basically what it is is that anyone in the community, you can join, even if you're not on the Discord now, if you're or if you've been in there however long, you can come on in. And you, we want you to design a Halloween or spooky themed area in Stardew Valley. Originally, it was like specific to like the farm, like a like a, a Halloween themed farm. But I realized that like a whole farm, like designing a whole farm, is a little it's a it can be a lot. So I'm opening it up to like any area that you can feasibly design. You can design like the whole farm, a small part of a farm, the inside of a shed, the inside of your home, the freaking like mines lobby whatever you want to do as long as it's halloween themed and then you can go ahead and submit it on the discord and there are prizes to be won for uh for the best and most popular and coolest ones so that's a that's a little community event that we'll be holding on the discord all month long i'm excited to see what people can bring to the table the pri the prizes so there's like prizes for like the top three most popular entries, which is also going to be community decided. Commun community votes are going to play into like what is uh, or who wins. And the three most popular ones will each win. Uh, they'll each win a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. They'll, you'll win a special role in the Discord, and you'll win a little piece of art drawn by yours truly. So I can't promise any quality but you know i'll try my best and whatever and then yeah so <laughs> so there you go that is the uh that is the contest in a nutshell for you there's more details over on the discord 
Check out the Halloween 2023 channel in the Discord if you want, if you'd like more intel on how to enter and sort of all the stipulations and stuff. But yeah, I think that'll be fun. And yes, and the top winner will get uh, Discord Nitro for a month by uh, generously donated by Ali, one of our mods, Alyssa. And there we go. All right, let me pop you back over here. Do Canadians eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Yep, yeah, we have a we have our own Thanksgiving. I don't necessarily, I mean, I don't know necessarily what it celebrates as far as like a historical event, because obviously Thanksgiving is more of a historical or historically rooted thing in in the United States. But we still have it, and we celebrate being thankful for stuff, and that's uh, that was what that's what I was doing basically all day yesterday. Sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, stuffing. Not so much the cranberry sauce, because I don't like cranberries, but uh, but all the rest, yeah, all the fixings. It's basically just the same. It's like the same sort of customs as American Thanksgiving, as far as I know, so. All right. And I think we can get into the game now. Just kidding. We got. We still have one last thing to do, because it's become a tradition around these parts here. Join me, won't you, for a little bit of Puff Fertile. I've been doing all my Puff Fertiles every single day, even while I'm not streaming. And I'm getting good at identifying these fish, I'll tell you what. We're going to do it right now. Check this out. This is obviously a large... This is a largemouth bass every day of the week. No doubt in my mind. That's a largemouth bass, 100%. I, I had, they had me in the first half, not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Um, so the season is right, the weather is right, so it's not a rainy day or sunny day fish. Um, it's not, the, it's not caught in the mountain lake. Season. Is largemouth bass all season? I feel like it is, so this is probably a specific season fish. I'm gonna check in at the ocean here. What oceanic fish have a similar vibe to a largemouth bass? I would say maybe an albacore. I don't know for certain, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, albacore is not all season though. Also, it's not caught in the ocean at all. Okay, so this is could be a this could be a river fish. Um, this could also be like a specialty fish. Now that I'm looking at it, because like all season, all weather, possibly all the time. So maybe this is like some kind of specialty location fish. Could this be a wood skip? Could this be a wood skip? It certainly could. All right, perfect. <laughs> there you go. It had to be a specialty fish that wasn't too difficult, and the, and the first one that came to mind was the wood skip, so we take those. Got it in three. Not too shabby. Shad? Shad's a good guess, but I think shad is a rainy day fish. Either way, I told you, I'm starting to get better and better at, at my puff hurdles. I'm starting to identify those patterns. I mean, there's only so many fish in Stardew in Stardew Valley, right? I don't know why I was I I almost pronounced it like weird, like Stardew Valley. It's funny how you can like pronounce things so differently and make them sound so wrong just by putting the emphasis on a different part of the word. It's always fascinated me. Or fascinated me. Fascinated me. See see what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> Sounds French. Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley, Star. Maybe that's what the sequel to Stardew Valley would be, Stardew Valley, because duh too. All right, let me load up Beatrix's little fractured farm over here. And bring you all on in. You just gotta wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Like Aaron Burr said, wait for it, wait for it, wait. All right, here we go. Only 10 minutes past due. We are getting into the randomizer officially here. So our current goal, gain a fishing level. There are many ways to gain a fishing level, and I have mulled them over over the weekend. And I think probably the our best approach to this, because our current... Um, we don't have that much leeway. Like We don't have that much experience between our current level, level 1 and level 2 fishing. 
We need 34 experience in order to level up. And I don't want to go too far beyond that because I don't want to, like... Because knowing the randomizer is just going to keep giving me fishing goals, and I don't want to, like, accidentally, like, go too far beyond my bounds and then have it give me, like, hey, go catch a glacier fish. And I'll be like, gosh darn it. <laughs> That's going to skyrocket my experience. Um, So, I don't want to go too far beyond that level up. My thinking, and this is something that was brought up on the... Er, during the last stream as well, and I still I still think it's probably our best approach, is to do the community cleanup quest. The one that involves, that Linus asks for, where he asks us to catch like 20 pieces of trash and put them in the recycling bin to get the fiber seeds recipe. I think that's probably, because 20 pieces of trash at three experience each, that's 60 experience, it's more than enough for us to level up. And we'll need that fiber seed crafting recipe anyway in the future, like if we get a goal of like craft fiber seeds. The big kicker here is that it could, it, it, I mean, it's gonna take us out of winter because we already checked the board for this week and we got biome balance, which it, we're not gonna do. That's too much experience by a long shot. Wild Leap a lot appeared. Hello, Leap, how are you doing? Exclamation point Leap. Allie's already on it, thank you, good to see you. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Um. Yeah, so I think we just check in at the... We go, we're going back to check in the community center board. Not community center, but, you know, special requests board. As we have been. I, it's not going to be nearly as rare of a request as the island ingredients one was. I feel like we, we're we probably only going to need to wait, like, a week or two before we see the community cleanup quest again. And I think that is totally fine by me. I am a little worried that we could... Like, our next goal could be something that is specifically winter-related, but I'm not gonna hang all my hopes and dreams on that, so I'm just willing to... I mean, if it is, if it is something like Miss Palindrome said, catch a lingcod, or, or like I said, catch the glacier fish, any number of things that are in the winter, then I'll bite the bullet and, and I'll sleep for a year, I guess. I don't know. All, I, all What I do know is that I need to get more flooring down in this area pronto, because look at all these darn seeds, dude. There are way too many of these things. What is going on around here? It's like these trees want to germinate or something. It's like they want to, you know... It's like they want to act on their evolutionary instincts and spread their their seeds all over the ground, and I, I will not tolerate it. Do I have any more... Do I have the wood? needed to... I do have 104 more weathered floors. I'll see how far this gets me, and then we'll go from there. It probably won't cover this entire area down here, but it'll cover a decent chunk of it, I would imagine. No foraging levels yet? Nope. We are currently... This is this is our level spread right now. We're about to have level 2 fishing, which is exciting. <laughs> The scary thing about level two fishing, this is why I actually, this is why I think it was on my mind, is that level two fishing I think unlocks the glacier fish as a possible goal in the in the randomizer. And we've I mean we've had our fair share of fishing goals, and we had one particularly loathsome one where we had to catch the octopus, Ollie the octopus, with only level one fishing. That was already pretty a pretty harrowing experience. I don't want to be in the position where I have to catch the glacier fish at level 2 fishing. That would be extremely, extremely, like, daunting. Like, I don't think I've ever caught the glacier fish at the level when where you unlock the glacier fish, which is technically level 6, but level... But at level 2, you can use seafoam pudding to boost yourself. Um, which is why it unlocks at level 2 in the randomizer, because I'm... A, I'm a cruel master of my own fate. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's throw it in there. What are the odds that I'm really gonna get that unlucky in the randomizer? Q gold clock, Q desert obelisk, Q blue discus, Q everything. <laughs> and technically you could catch it at level one fishing, but that involves cheesies and seafoam pudding. Which obviously we can't do until you can't do until you're like level nine fishing because that's when you get the recipe for seafoam pudding. So it's kind of a catch twenty two that way. All right, we don't have it. We didn't have enough to fill up this entire area here. 
question is, do I commit the rest of my wood to covering as much of that space as I can? And I think the answer is honestly yes, because I can just buy more wood from Robin if I really want to. So I'm just going to use this 61 wood right here, craft all the weathered floors that I possibly can. Boom. And then uh, go to town here. What a lovely day to face the randomizer. There is a a chance. It's It might be a bit of a long shot, but there's a chance we could break 10% of goals completed this stream. Which would be pretty insane if we could get there. We're currently at 9.2% of goals completed. So, and every every goal gets us either 0.2, most of the time it's 0.2, but sometimes 0.1% of the way closer. Um... So there's there's a there's a there's a shot. We got a shot here at a 10% uh completion rate, which would be I I just don't even know. I never I felt it, you know, it's been such a long journey that it feels like it's not even real to be that close to like a 10% 10% of our goal here. And the fact that we we still have 90% to go after that is is honestly kind of overwhelming in a way, but it is what it is. I'm having fun with it and that's all that matters. Well, it also matters that you're having fun watching it and enjoying the experience, but I think you are. I think I think people wouldn't be, like, coming back for more if they weren't enjoying it in some capacity. That's, like, how streaming works, I think, right? Uh, do we have this shirt? We have a similar shirt. I don't think we have this particular shirt, though, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. You love this challenge? Me too. This is a really fun one. It's not for the faint of heart, at least like this version of the randomizer. You could definitely do like a, a toned down version of the randomizer where you don't shoot for perfection at all. You just shoot for something else, like the community center completion. That's probably more like a lot of people's speed, but you know, for me, it's go big or go home. I love when we get the right seasonal music on the playlist during the correct season. All right. You want more people to do it so you can watch more of it? Honestly, me too. <laughs> I, I, I love so much reading about people's progress on their own randomizers in the uh, in the Discord channel for it. Um, so like seeing other people play through would be like such a fun time. But obviously, I know it's a it's a very gargantuan task to undertake this randomizer. So I don't blame people for for not wanting to you know stream it or record it or whatever. Okay, are we doing anything else for, like, all the rest of winter here? Um, do I have a gift for my secret friend, Kent? I've never met that man in my life. Actually, no, he came one time approximately 14 years ago to my house to say hello. And I've never spoken to him since. So, uh, no, I don't have a gift for him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a gift for anybody. Look at me, I'm Scrooge. That's how I'm dressed anyway. You know what, I'm going to take this opportunity right now. The Junimos, you're not going to harvest. I've, I've decided we're putting a moratorium on the Junimo harvests for the, for the next little while. Unless we, unless we need to harvest something in the future. For right now, I'm going to give the Junimos a break. They've been working very long and very hard over the past however many years. Harvesting crop after crop of ancient fruit. To, to line Beatrix's pockets. And they deserve a break. So they're going to take a break. They're going to take a union mandated break. And I'm going to plant like just flowers or something there during the spring so that it's like nice and pretty. Because I think that'll look cool on our on our screenshots. To have just a nice field of flowers out there. Because like why not, right? Why not have a little fun with it? Uh, do the diamonds? Diamonds go in here. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, maybe I should move... Yeah, I'll move the diamonds to... All these diamonds to here. I don't know if I'm ever going to sell them or if I'm, I'm going to use them for gifts in the future, but... At least I know where they all are at. I might as well stack them all in one place here. Happy Winter Star, everybody. I did almost say Hearth's Warming because I've been re-watching a lot of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic lately. I basically been watching like one episode per day with breakfast. Like I'll I'll like get my breakfast together, I'll put on an episode and I'm just been making my way through it. I'm like halfway through season one now. 
So I've got it on the brain for sure. Who is this strange man? I talk to Kent as much as as much as you do. Kent is not someone I usually go to my way to talk to a lot. How do I plan to gain the fishing level? Welcome on in, Sops channel. Uh, we're going to try and get the community cleanup quest on, from the special orders board in order to get the fishing experience that way because we'll get 60 experience just from catching the trash for that quest and we need to do it eventually anyway. I also remembered that there are mahogany trees down here that I want to make sure I prune. I don't want them getting too out of control down here. Little hardwood on the side, not a bad idea. Also, I need to get more materials for these brick paths so I can patch up these these unsightly gashes in our path here. Your son watches a lot of Bluey. Still never seen Bluey. It's it's come highly recommended, but it, I have uh, not watched an episode of it yet. I'd probably enjoy it, I would imagine, but... No. Friendship is magic. It holds a special place in my heart. And that, that no other show can quite match, I don't think, so... I'll get hooked. It's so good. I mean, I'd, I have to I have to go and, like, look up how to watch it again. I'm sure I've been told, like, where it is, like, where it's available to watch. But I have not internalized that information. Because I'm bad about that. The ba They banned an episode of Bluey? Oh, it's one of those shows where they're pushing the boundaries. I see. I see you. I also see you, Museum Grackries. Thank you for the 99 cent super sticker. Looking like a diamond in the rough. That's a lot of diamonds already, this stream. Thank you very much for the for the generosity. It's always amazing to see. Thank you. Disney has banned a few episodes, but not for anything bad. What did they ban them for, if not for anything bad? I mean, Disney is very, very strict. They're very stringent about what they what they host within like especially within like, you know, media geared towards children. I might I mean I have a hunch, but like I don't want to like say anything. <laughs> they banned one episode for the dad not being happy with his weight gain. Interesting. I feel like I'd need more context for that. But it's probably like a perfectly fine episode. Um I don't need to be out here walking around as much as I do. I got restless legs right now. I feel like I should be doing more, but honestly, there's nothing more to be doing right now. We're basically just waiting for Monday, and I'm, I don't need to make any more money. I am just, I'm content. Beatrix is content. All right. Got ourselves a blackberry here. Blackberry, blueberry. Uh, do I have more fall seeds? I certainly do. I certainly do. I don't know how much more fall forage I, I reasonably need. I know I'm going to need, like, four hazelnuts to, to cook roasted hazelnuts eventually. That's the only thing that's on my mind as far as far, fall forage goes. Blackberry. I think don't I actually have blackberries in here. I do, yeah, so I might as well stack them there. Yeah, we've got some there. Because I, I wouldn't mind switching to other seasonal forage seeds in our garden pot at some point too we're gonna need to do it eventually or or just get like a forage level that would also be kind of cool <laughs> to get a forage level up just just putting that out there you know if the randomizer happens to be listening or whatever little gremlin is behind the curtain controlling the randomizer little like furby looking thing i don't even know all right uh i will sell I'll make my tradition, do my traditional selling of the jelly on the last day of the year in order to bring up the uh, the sale screen so that we get to see the New Year's Day. Gooey. Hmm, gooey. <laughs> um, before we go into the New Year, though, let's get ahead of the game here and let's get Beatrix into her spring duds, her springtime duds, because this outfit is not going to fly in the spring. This is a very wintry outfit. We need something much more springly for her. Um, so let's let's get cracking here. What's a good spring color? I think mint mint is always a fun one, but we definitely did that last time. 
So we got to mix it up a little bit here. I mean, pink is a nice spring color. Like, what about, like, a pink, a very light pink shirt like this? Can we accessorize this with anything, do you think? There's probably, there's probably ways to make this work. We just got a nice new shirt. That's true. What was that shirt? It was... It was... Uh, where is it? I know what it looks like. Yeah, it's this one here. This one's not a bad shirt. We could get like some like if we got some other pants that we could, that we could then dye. We could have some nice pink pants that would make these look like little overalls or something. That could be kind of cute. Pink, yellow, or light purple maybe. Meanwhile, my character is wearing an off-the-shoulder top all year round. I mean, you, normally my my character is they are typically wearing like the same stuff all the time too, but. I'm getting in the habit of accessorizing a little bit lately. We need uh we need a good hat. I feel like every good outfit in Stardew starts with the right hat. What is a springtime hat? A garbage hat? No, I don't think so. The forager's hat is an all-time favorite of mine. We could go a little, we could go back to mouse ears, go back to our roots. Butterfly bow. Honestly, butterfly bow, I'm kind of feeling. Butterfly bow. What about like this? Did we have a nice... We did We did have a... I mean, we rocked the pink skirt for a very long time, but... That's, you know what? That's cute. That's a pretty cute little outfit. We gotta get, like, lighter boots than that, for sure. Like, what if we did, like, tundra boots? Is that a good... That's that's a little too dark color still. The boots with the fur. What if we did the dragon scale boots? Too purple. If we had the crystal slippers, I feel like that would be, like, perfect, but we don't have the crystal slippers. We have leprechaun shoes. I feel like this will clash like nothing else. It's a, it's a little too garish for me. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for yet another 99 cent super diamond, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Leather boots are right there. We got sneakers. Yeah, the butterfly bow is very springy. Sneakers are just, like, too bright of a red. What if, like, what about, like, no shoes? No, I don't like the brown with it, really, either. Do we, maybe we just don't have good shoes for this outfit. The Tundra boots might be the closest that we get, honestly. Leather boots. You know what? I'll, I'll rock the leather boots. The Dragon Scale boots weren't really doing it for me. I can try it again. There, you know, maybe there's something there. How does one acquire crystal slippers? I think you have to get them from like a crate, like crates and barrels and skull caverns or something like that. The hat could use a change. You don't like the butterfly bow with this outfit? And the darker pink shirt. Darker pink shirt. So like, I mean, this is like a darker pink shirt. We have, we have many pink shirts. A wearable shirt, indeed. This is kind of, this is kind of something. There's, there's kind of something to this. Not the red bow. Do we have, we do have the big pink bow, but the big, the pink bow is very big. Where is that? Pink bow. Little pink bow. Maybe, I mean, I like the butterfly bow. You know, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm go, I'm gonna go with my, with my vibe here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with my own personal vibe. That's too much pink. I like pink. What can I say? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna meander about too much. This is our current springtime outfit. There we go. I'm going with it. The pink bow is so cute. It's a little too big for me. It's a little too big. No such thing as too much pink. <laughs> All right. Let's go. As long as you feel good, you look good. I like that mentality forever, Pluey. <laughs> Excuse me? No! No, we don't have a full coop there! So, oh, jeez. <laughs> what a way to ring in the new year. Thank you, Witch, for cursing our new year before it even could get started. <laughs> That's our blue chicken coop. We didn't even get to put any blue chickens in there yet. 
And she's already putting some stinking void eggs in there. At any rate, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I hope you're ready. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year, everybody. Year 17. Day 1 of Year 17 has arrived. The witch also teleported us to this bed. What else is new? I mean, we've, we've become accustomed to that at this point. Stone owls and witches be teleporting us. <laughs> Let me go over to Nightbot and tell you, hey, guess what? Happy New Year, Nightbot. Happy New Year. It's year 17. Flashbacks to floor 17 from way earlier in the challenge. If you know, you know. You're, day, you're on day three of year 17. That is a fun coincidence. I, I like that, Tess. And thank you to Museum Grack Reads for another 99 cent super sticker. Holy moly. <laughs> the support is crazy. Thank you so much. All right. Is this... I forgot that we even actually had this coop being built. I don't remember. Did we get up to a deluxe coop here? Or did we only reach big coop status? Is this a big coop or is this a deluxe coop? I can't honestly tell from the outward appearance. This is a this is a deluxe coop, yeah, because there's 12 spots here. Okay, so we need to get ourselves some blue chickens so that so that witches are not constantly harassing us and being like, "Hey, you need more void eggs. Hey, you need more void eggs. Hey, you need more void eggs." They know what they're doing, or she knows what she's doing. I don't even. Maybe, are there multiple witches? I don't think so. I think there's only one witch, right? She just, you know, gets around a lot. She even centered the egg. Alright, before anything else, though, or B-A-E, as the cool kids say these days, let's go and buy... Well, let's go check the community requests board. Then we'll go buy some seeds to spruce up our little, our little crop field and go from there. multiple witches? Isn't there a second witch after perfection? I don't know the, the lore of the witches, to be honest, in Stardew Valley. Alright, what do you got? Linus, you got something for me? Cave Patrol or the strong stuff? I will take the strong stuff so it doesn't show up next week. And then we'll keep on checking back here. make the void egg into an omelet. I can't even pick up the void egg is the problem right now because it's just too much uh it's too much forging experience. Or actually it's not forging, it's farming experience, which is also definitely too much. We're very close to a farming level up. Molten jelly baby. All right. Um the area is about to open, so let me just go ahead and take advantage of that. Right here right now. What do you got for me? Also to really go for a delicious parsnip, I would be so happy if someone delivered one to me. Sorry, Evelyn. All my parsnips are are accounted for. You don't get any extra parsnips because we're already besties, so we don't need to worry about that. All right. I would like to buy flowers. Tulips and blue jazz are the flowers of spring. So let's go ahead and uh, and do that. So we got what 138 spots to fill. With just, with just flowers. We could also mix in some other crops, but I kind of just like, I'm kind of in a flowery mood, you know what I mean? A field of tulips would be pretty. Do you think we should just go all tulips, or should we mix in blue jazz as well? I feel like, I feel, Lisa, I think you're right, actually. I feel like just going all in on tulips is probably a good call. I don't think I've ever done, like, a field of tulips. Can't I buy a seed and plant the parsnip and then reuse it for perfection needs? Um, I mean, I can I can plant parsnips for sure, but I can't grow one in time for Evelyn's quest, unfortunately. She's out here asking for a fresh parsnip on literally the first day of spring before anyone could possibly grow one. Exactly one blue jazz. Yeah, we have the blue jazz for cooking. None of these flowers are for anything other than aesthetics, so I'm just going to buy... I'm just going to buy 138, or I guess 140 tulip bulbs, and call it a day. Give her one from the chest. 
Oh, I see what you mean. I could grow a parsnip and then get another one cultivated. I see. Because I have them in reserve, so I could just grow another one. But either way, it's not... I don't... Like I said, the Junimos are getting a break. The Junimos are getting a break this year. I'm not about to make them harvest even a single parsnip. Unless it's absolutely mission critical for the Junimos to harvest something, I feel like they have more than earned a bit of a break this year. Wouldn't you agree? Um, do I have my hoe? I do. I certainly do. Let's go ahead and take care of business down here. Not only do, have the Junimos earned their break, they've also earned a nice field of flowers to gaze upon and frolic within. These tulips belong to the Junimos. So let's make sure we do this right. Do they not harvest flowers? They do, but uh, we've turned off harvesting on the Junimo huts, so. so we don't need to worry about that. Chicken statue! Favorite. And a beach warp totem, my other favorite. How'd they know? <laughs> Wait, doesn't the... Hold on, I think I've got... I think I'm having a brain blast, but I don't want to... I don't want to put it out there too soon just in case it's something wrong, but I'm going to look into something in a second once I'm done with the... Once I'm done with the field here. The one niche feature everyone forgets. Today, welcome to your daily PSA reminder for things that everyone forgets in Stardew Valley. You can turn off harvesting in your Junimo huts. You can make you can close the resort on Ginger Island so people don't visit and throw off the ske their schedules. And Holly exists. There you go. Your most useless information. Just, just pretend this is like one of those like YouTube shorts where you just it's like top five, top three useless facts in Stardew Valley. Even though the, you know those first two actually aren't useless, they're actually quite useful if you if you need them. The beach warp totem gives coral. If we deconstruct it, you mean? I assume. You can definitely hold on to that. When we get access to a deconstructor. I cannot tell you, but... Holly's used for, re for Remix Forge bundle. Sometimes. It's not, it's not even then, even in the one time you might actually need Holly, is not even guaranteed, because the Remix bundle could just not include Holly instead. <laughs> So even, even in that very niche, rare situation, it's still a conditional thing. Alright, I'm gonna go put away these last tulip bulbs. I'll come back with my fancy, dancy copper watering can. Anyone remember that? We upgraded our watering can to copper last time. That's kind of hype. We actually get to use it today, too. Ordinarily, I might not even go back and water those crops, because it doesn't necessarily matter that all the tulips grow in tandem. But... I've got a copper watering can. Blake is eating some Mongolian beef. You know what, Blaine? I can't even be... I can't be mad about that. Sounds delicious. Welcome on in. Uh, copper watering can. Thank you. Is Holly on the collection? I think Holly is in the shipping collection. But otherwise, it's, I mean, it's just there to fill out the collection. That's not, that's not a great, great use for it. I've gone off on Holly before. I didn't even realize how useless it was until Salmons brought it up in, like, one of his videos. And now I'm, like, now I'm, now I'm mad on his behalf because it is, <laughs> it's like, it's like, why? Maybe in 1.6, Holly will be useful for, for something a bit more. Makes a shirt that's above average. But that's a subjective thing, too. I'm not used to having to charge these tools. I'm like, this This feels like... This feels so foreign to me. Is that watered there? I couldn't tell. But I just watered just in case. During the first winter, it sells for a good amount of gold. 
I guess if you're not doing like winter forge farming or anything like that, then maybe that has some some value. Holly can be used to die though. Yeah, but like most things can be used to die. <laughs> and I feel like what what color dye does Holly make? Is it green or is it red? Those are the only two that are conceivable, and I feel like if it's green, fiber. If it's red, you know, maybe maybe if there if it's I mean red, what what's red that you, that's like common? I feel like red is kind of a hard dye to come across, so maybe it's good for that. I don't know. Sells for eighty basic. That's not bad for like forage, yeah. Cranberry. Yeah, you could grow a lot of cranberries by the time you get holly. That's true. So, salmon berry. That too, or a salmon berry orange. I guess I would think if I, in my heart of hearts, if I had to guess, I would say salmon berry probably makes for red dye. But I could conceive of it being orange. Bait is bait red dye. I mean, if bait's red dye, then that's that's the way you go all the time. Because bait you usually have pretty ready access to. Their salmon color. Touche. Hello, Sandy. Your one of your finest shirts, please. Isn't this the shirt that Easy Lily wears on her character? I like that shirt. It's a cute little like cute little overalls. There used to be a glitch where consuming anything poisonous after being exhausted soft locked the game. So what you're telling me is that it used to be that Holly was worse than useless and that it actively soft locked your game. <laughs> if you used it in a very niche situation. Case in point, Your Honor. Your Honor, my client is simply built different. Alright, I need. Cloth. We're running low on cloth, but I feel like this is important. I feel like this makes something good. Cloth. Sorry. Cloth. Chicken. Make. I made a fluffy shirt. <laughs> it's fuzzy? Yo, two of my favorite words. Fluffy and fuzzy. Yo, perfect. Look at it. It's a fluffy, fuzzy shirt. I can Now I am chicken. The fluffy shirt. We could do a little chicken costume at some point if we wanted to. That's cute. It looks it looks very cozy for sure. <laughs> With a brown skirt and a daisy. You sound like you've uh you put that outfit together before, Blaine. <laughs> Maybe something worth trying, yeah. If I run out of cloth, just duplicate aquamarines. Oh yeah, I can trade those at the uh, desert trader. Good call, funny fox. Perfect for the egg festival. Isn't there like an egg shirt? Um, all right. I need to visit Marnie on Wednesday because she won't be in tomorrow. So I need to go visit her on Wednesday so I can start filling up my coop with blue chickens. As, as the world intended. Because the randomizer would not have made me befriend Shane so early on if it did not intend me to have... A coop absolutely brimming, bustling, bursting even with blue baby synonym for chicken that starts with B. Alright. I don't think there's anything else for us to do out here. Welcome on in, Oceana. Good to see you. Alright. And now... Let's go load up on some blue boys. Blue boys and and girls. Actually, I guess only girls, because they lay eggs. So, there's a bunch of blue hens. 509, we need to fill that back up. Honestly, we're getting to the point where we might need to buy more, buy more hay before too long. We only got four and a half stacks left, and that goes very fast. <laughs> Alright, let's just wait for Marnie to open up, bide our time, and check in with the tulips. Do you think the Junimos will come out to enjoy the presence of the tulips even if they don't have to harvest them? I hope they do. 
I hope, I hope they come out just to stop and smell the tulips for a little bit. That would be very cute. This looks like something I could, I should be able to chop, but it is not something I can chop. It, lo it looks like it's like a sapling right there. Or is it right here? I don't know. That, that looks like, am I crazy? That's the top half of like a, like a mahogany sapling there. But it's not letting me do anything with it. Oh well. Did I check the board? I did, yeah. We got uh, the strong stuff. Which we're definitely not going to do it. Maybe with your axe? Derp. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize I was chopping with my hoe. That's, you know... I have over 2,000 hours in this game. Um, <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Yo, thank you, Mewtwo. Howdy to Persephone and yourself, Amber. Good to see you. Welcome on in. All right. Let's start a new collection of wood because I'm pretty sure I used all of my previous wood on floors. Also, I guess I have to put this auto petter and auto grabber set up in the new coop. Let's get it set up for the chickens so that it's nice and prepared for their arrival. Don't let me forget to buy a heater when I'm down there because I'm going to... I will totally forget to do that and be like, why are these chickens getting so sad come winter time? All right. Let's make sure they can get outside. Let's put the auto petter right up here. Auto grabber right over here. Perfect. It's beautiful. That coop is ready for some awesome blue chickens. Let's go. Blue chickens hopefully come with blue eggs. I would be down. Yo, I'm bobbing my head. This is a strange combination of folks. But why is Shane going out so late in the day? Why why was he like isn't doesn't he normally at like work at Jojo right now? He's not he shouldn't be like walking into town at like 9 30. Alright. Supply shop, I'm gonna get it out of the way. Just get the heat the heater done. Ginger Island. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Island Resort. I'm gonna have to get used to that. There will probably be a few more times where I'm like, what the heck? Why, where are these people going? This isn't their usual schedule. And it, I'll do that like three more times before I start to finally internalize it. All right, so chicken, we just have to wait until we get a blue chicken, right? Blue chicken! All right, perfect. Choose a coop for your new blue chicken. Is this Brinano? I don't think this is Brinano. Maybe, should all their names start with B? I feel like I like that for, for the blue chickens. What if all their names started with B? What, what are some good B names? Bernard. Hit you with a little Bernard. Bernard, the... The alpha blue chicken. All right, purchase animals. We got to go in for another blue chicken here. White chicken? Nope. We just re-roll our chickens. Brown chicken. Can I just not just tell you, Marnie, I would like a blue chicken. Brown chicken. Brown chicken. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. Brown chicken. There's a blue chicken. All right. I don't know how rare they are in comparison to the other chickens, but... I can try it infinitely, so it's no it's no problem. Bonnell? They're hitting me with the blue names already. Shades of blue, azure, cerulean, periwinkle, etc. I like that too. Bree, bluey. Barrel, bree. I'm gonna hit you with a little bismuth. Bismuth the blue chicken. Name unavailable. We've already named one of our other animals Bismuth. All right, fair enough. Bartholomew? Bonnie? We'll go with Bonnie. I like Bonnie. Bonnie, because that's uh, like Five Nights at Freddy's, too. Bonnie the Blue Bunny. All right, purchase another blue chicken, please. It's a white chicken. That's white. That's... No. 
Here's the thing. I need a blue chicken. I need a... Marnie, are you listening? I need a blue chicken. I know you've got them. I know you're like, you're like, but you can't use up all my supply of blue chickens. How am I going to have any for the other customers who want blue chickens? And I'm going to say to you, Marnie, what other customers? I'm literally the only person that's ever bought anything from you. Ever. <laughs> the entire economy of this town is sustained by Beatrix's hand alone. Isn't Bonnie purple? Depends on the iteration. Um, Bartholomew. I'll hit you with a little Bartholomew. 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 Did I spell that right? Bromine. Then a little Bartholomew to her home right away. Thank you. Alright, that's three blue chickens. Don't worry, this will only take... At this rate, this will only take like an hour to get all the blue chickens. Alright, perfect. Benedict? Beelzebub? Beelzebub is much... Look at the little blue chicken! I don't think I've ever in my life seen a baby blue chick. Or at least I don't remember it, but look at it. Look at you. Welcome to the world, my friend. Baby blue. <laughs> That's so cute. Boron. Boron. Do we already have boron? We don't have boron. There we go. Boron. Got to keep in keep in with the elemental names sometimes. It's a white chicken right there. Little blueberry. White chicken. No, thank you. Barbenheimer. I think we've got, we've, we've got, what, four blue chickens right now? Four blue chickens. Their names all start with a B. Let's start... Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do the next four. We'll do what uh, Lisa suggested, and we'll have chickens with different shades of blue for their name. So list your favorite shades of blue right now. I'm going to hit you with an Azure. Azure is a good one right there. You suggested first, I'm cry. I'm sorry, Clawtooth. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a good suggestion either way. Whoever suggested it. I'm down. Lapis, Cerulean. Neil. Periwinkle. I'm seeing a lot of Cerulean. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of Cerulean love. You definitely gotta have a little chicken named Cerulean. That was a blue chicken! I skipped past it. That's my bad. It's fine. It's fine. Cerulean's kind of a long name. What would you call someone named Cerulean for short? Cerulean doesn't start with B. Neither does Azure. But I just named the chicken Azure. Alright. Gromo. <laughs> I love these names, dude. All right, Cerulean, like the city. Perfect. Leon for short. All right, we need two more shades of blue. My baby blue. Ayaya. Lapis. I like the I like the the Steven Universe vibes. Lapis, not Lapid. Lapis. Lapis is a nice color. Alright. Purchase. Another blue chicken. Another! There we go. Azure we already did. That was our first one. What about Wapumo? Everyone's favorite shade of blue. Wapumo? Alright. Cobalt? Cobalt or Aquamarine? Let's go Cobalt. Cobalt is a pretty nice color. Cobalt the chicken. Alright. That's four shades of blue. Should we keep going with shades of blue, or should we pivot to another theme? We've got four more chickens to name. We've, do we've done four with B names, four with blue names. And now, four with... Rhymes with blue? Yeah, how about rhymes with blue? 
All right. Rhymes with blue. Cause that, that that makes it even that makes it fun to say. I like that, Lissy. Stew the blue chicken. <laughs> Clue. Chew Roo. Gru. <laughs> we'll go. I'll name you. I'll name one Gru. I see. I see your Despicable Me reference. Gru the blue chicken. What if they, what if you could get blue sheep? Then you could have Gru the blue you. All right. Um, that's a brown chicken. That's a white chicken. Here's the thing. That's also a white chicken. Don't worry, the next one is guaranteed blue. I was close. Brown's pretty close to blue. We're getting closer. We keep getting, we keep getting these brown chickens. Alright, that's a little further away. It's a little further away. We need to get... We need to get... Back on track here, Marnie. Come on, girl. I know you can do it. I know I've, you've given me many blue chickens already. We're, we're in the we're in the home stretch here. Come on, don't do me dirty like this. Should name one of them brown. You like moo? All right, blue. We got. We finally got blue. Hue or Sue? I like Hue because that kind of fits in with the color. Definitely not Zover. It's it's so Zover, dude. It's so Zover. Kazoo. Wait, we got to do one that's named Kazoo. All right, we'll go Hue. We definitely got to do Kazoo. Kazoo the blue chicken. <laughs> All right. Do you think we can summon summon Kazoom? All right, definitely Kazoo. And we have one more chicken to name. Yo, thank you for the homies. For a second, I thought this was Kazoom. It has a similar kind of vibe at the start, but this is not Kazoom. That would have been so good. All right, Kazoo the blue chicken. All right, one final chicken to name. We just gotta get one more blue chicken here. That's a brown chicken. It'll, it'll take less, fewer than five tries, guaranteed. That's two. Abu, crew, brown, come on, fifth time's the charm, white chicken, don't do me, don't do me like this Marnie, don't do me, there's, there's room for one more chicken, I know there is, I know there is, Hublu. Ooh woo, <laughs> ooh woo, the blue chicken, cashew, blue chicken. Ooh woo, killing me. Ooh woo. I went all the way down past it. Look at all, look at them all. They're congregating already. Brew the blue chicken. These are all amazing names, chat. These are all amazing names, but I regret to inform you that corporate has mandated that because we chose not to do the community center, this and these blue chickens are very clearly Joja product placement. We have to do at least one name Joja, I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> sorry, it's corporate mandated. You can get angry at Morris, not me. <laughs> Chad, I'm just do I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders from the higher up higher ups. I'm with you. I'm with you. I wanted Uwu the blue chicken, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. No Uwu. They're all Uwu in your in my heart though. Alright. I'm gonna put the heater right over here just so it's nice and out of the way. Next farming level, I vote we sell that one. All right. Best of luck to you, my fine blue feathered friends. How many do we have? Did we get 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I count 11, but there could be one hiding behind here. There is. There's 12. Okay. I'm pretty sure I counted 12 there. 
Joe just stealing Shane's IP. All right. Blue chickens have finally arrived. It's been a while since we befriended Shane, but it was a nice, long, slow burn, and we finally have our blue chickens on deck. And I could not be happier. That said, we are going to burn through hay that much faster now. So I really need to be on top of my hay game. Do not let me forget it. Alright, let's lock it in. Usually only, usually only have one or two blue chickens per save file. Or two blue chickens. Me too, actually. Usually I only like get like a couple, just for the novelty of it. I don't think I've ever had a coop full of blue chickens. And honestly, I could kind of see like why most people probably wouldn't, because it is kind of a hassle to get the blue chickens specifically. But once you got them, I can't deny those are so, those are some cute little baby chicks. All right, um, we're not really doing anything else now. We just kind of we just kind of vibe until Monday when we get our next quest. On one of your farms, you have 12 of each color of animal. That's kind of hype. I really like that. Now that I mentioned blue sheep earlier, just as like an offhand comment, I kind of want like other colors of sheep. I guess Minecraft did it first, but that doesn't mean Stardew can't do it, right? Let me dye my sheep. There's dye in the game and there are sheep in the game. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, it could be it could be fun. <laughs> All natural die, of course. The ability to die your sheep coming in 1.6. We gotta be careful. If we keep asking for for new and cool features in 1.6, 1.6 is never gonna um Aren't there blue frogs in the screenshot? There, there was like a blue frog, a gold frog, and a and a black frog, right? Like a void frog. I can't wait to grow my own little tadpoles. Like the more I contemplate, and dare I even say ruminate upon the possibilities of 1.6 based on the screenshots and stuff that we've seen, I do think that the swamp farm might be a real thing. I, th I think, I mean, I I think it was kind of where I landed with that discussion to begin with, but back when we were first discussing, like, what the new farm type might be. And I really do believe that, like, there's a pretty solid chance for the swamp. I think, I think a lot of it just kind of lines up nicely. With the trees that were pictured, there's little, little frogs. And I have in my head, I can't get it out of my head the fact that, like, on the forest farm, you can catch the wood skip in a little pond. So what if they made a swamp farm where you could catch the void salmon? I think that would be kind of a, kind of a nifty little idea. And it would also solve a very niche little thing that I've been thinking about of like what if you were to try and catch like every fish in the first season of the game and get like that star drop for catching all the fish in the first season and the only thing that technically stops that is the void salmon right now what was I looking for I thought I was looking for something but I, don't, I think I forgot what I'm looking for because I still haven't found what I'm looking for because you can catch every other fish in the first season, just not the Void Salmon, because it's physically unavailable until, like, summer 2nd. So if we could get that on the Swamp Farm, you know, I'm just saying, that could be a fun challenge for, for future days. This song in particular appeals to you. It's one of my favorites, too. Quick little mushroom cave drop-in, just because we can. Just a little chameleon. I see you. I see you, Karita. You like how they're branding eclipses? What does this mean? Branding eclipses. Like this eclipse is sponsored by Coca-Cola? Alright. New week, new quest potential. 
Linus, Linus is a friend of ours. I mean, not literally, not in the strictest sense of the word, but he's a friend of everybody. He's a friend of the world and of nature, so he's gonna, he's not gonna let us down. We've waited a, a, a nice solid two weeks without getting the community cleanup quest. Today's our day. Normally it shows up like every other week, so I mean, we're, we're definitely overdue. Let's have a look-see. What do you got for me? Crop order and cave patrol. Apparently green beans are considered the latest super food in Zuzu City. All right, fair enough then. I guess I'll take a crop order real quick and then wait until next week instead. What the heck is Linus doing, dude? Doesn't he care about, about getting trash out of the river and stuff anymore? I guess he posted it so many times that he just kind of like lost hope that somebody's actually going to take him up on the offer. I'm sorry, Linus. I didn't mean to demotivate you like this, but I don't know. If push comes to shove, we can just get our fishing level a different way, but I really feel like this is the way that like we should do it. Also, are our tulips fully grown? I don't know how long tulips take. I kind of want to go, go bask in their glory if I can. Oh, look at them. The Junimos are out. They're frolicking. The frolicking Junimos in the tulip fields is the cutest thing. I didn't know that they would actually come out because they're not harvesting them. They're just here to like vibe. Look at this. It's so cute. They're just like waving and dancing all about the tulips. Oh, I love this. I love this. That's so cute. <laughs> Just when you thought the Junimos couldn't get any better. They go and do something like this. That's so sweet. You hope they run through those logs? I don't think they do, but that would be... In my heart, they do, you know? Like, that's, that's a good head cannon. I like that. <laughs> you made them so happy? They made me so happy with these boatloads of ancient fruit and money. <laughs> I will never want for anything again in my life. It's mostly, or at least in large part, thanks to the Junimos. Why are Junimos so precious? They're too precious for this world. I, I feel lucky to be basking in their presence as often as I am. Yo, thank you, Shane. I'll take a few pepper poppers for the road. Don't mind if I do. Nice little farming buff. Speed buff. I'm feeling buff buff. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to put something in my garden pot over here. Welcome on in, Bex. Good to see you. Alright. Off to bed once more. Patch of Nirvana right there in Tulip Field. I should start writing down things that I want to talk about during these streams, during, like, the downtime of these streams. Because I've run into so many circumstances where I'm, like, there's, like, a little anecdote or a story or just something I want to mention on stream, and I think about it in the moment, and I'm like, ooh, that'd be fun to talk about. And then, like, I get here, and then I, like, totally blank on what I was going to say. Like, I was just thinking, like, wasn't there something I wanted to mention, and now I can't think of what it is. I need to just start... I need to be one of those people that carries around a journal... And just writes down all my innermost thoughts and secrets. I'll just be in the middle of, like, a shift at work and be like, hold on! I'll, I'll be, like, helping a customer with something. Holding, like, a bottle of wine, carrying it up to the front for them. And then I'll have, like, a brain blast, and I'll just drop the bottle of wine on the floor right there. And while they're screaming and crying for me to clean it up, I'll be like, no, 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 I need to write this down. Write that down, write that down! I think I actually, I do have a journal that I could, like, be carrying around like that. I just, like, don't, because I'm self-conscious about it. Maybe don't do that? I don't see what could go wrong, though, honestly. Especially if I do it specifically like that. Yo, thank you, Pam. Battery pack, I'll take it. And the egg festival tomorrow, I won't take it because I ain't got time for that. I, I, if it's a fishing festival where I can level up my fishing, then maybe maybe we got something working there. But 
egg festival? That sounds more like a farming thing, and I'm not really about that lifestyle. I'm, I don't consider myself much of a farmer. What's that? I have six, I have five coops and four barns on my on my allotment down here, and I and I constantly sell boatloads of crops to Pierre. Yeah, but that's just like. You know, that's just a byproduct of having lived here for so long. I'm not like a farmer farmer. You write notes and keep. Is keep an app of some kind? It sounds like it. Just get a little notebook that I can put in my pocket. But then I have to also like carry around like a pen or a pencil or something. Because I'm not like constantly... I mean, at work, I'm constantly around pens and pencils, because you gotta have them around for various things, but in my day-to-day -day life, I don't typically carry around a pen or a pencil just, like, on a whim. Maybe I should, though. I had a very vivid dream the other day. It was, like, over the weekend. Um, and it was... It was... It was like, it felt like a prophetic dream, because I was dreaming about the randomizer, and I was like, I, we were like rolling a new goal, and that was like the entire dream, and if you're like, what goal did we roll? I don't remember. I think it was a cooking goal. But what I do remember, what I remember more vividly than that, thank you for the chocolate cake, by the way, Evelyn. I remember that I did the randomizer, I rolled the goal, and then like, I, I ended the stream... And then I went and played Super Mario Galaxy 3, which is not a game that exists, but it existed very vividly in my mind. There was, like, a giant Rosalina, and there were lots of colors, and that's about <laughs> that's about all I can all I can ascertain. So, you heard it here first. Super Mario Galaxy 3 is coming. Save the cake for Abigail. I'm going to save the cake because there's no reason not to. Rich and moist with a thick fudge icing. Put it right in here next to my 999 jades. And then I'm off to bed. You pay good money for Super Mario Galaxy 3. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is my favorite Mario game. So I wholeheartedly concur. It is a, it is a franchise or a part of the Mario franchise that I, I long for every single day. What did that say? Harvest 100 green bean. Right click to retrieve banana. Has the same energy. Rolls off the tongue. Was so sad that there was no Rosalina in the Super Mario movie. Hot take, I think Rosalina will be in a Super Mario movie in the future. I think it won't I think she won't be in the sequel, but I think she'll be in the third movie. Because you already know they're gonna have a trilogy. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Gifts for George or Juicy Bugs Wanted. I'll take some gifts for George, I suppose. And ride out one more week here. You like Galaxy 1 slightly more than Galaxy 2? I like Galaxy 1's atmosphere better than Galaxy 2, but the gameplay of Galaxy 2 is like unmatched in my opinion. They did, they did so many things so right in that game. Watch someone from Nintendo be like, we gotta put giant Rosalina in the game now. She was like 50 feet tall in my dream. It was kind of scary, honestly. And she had like, she had like scary eyes. Like one of her eyes was like, it reminded me of the moon from Majora's Mask. I don't know how to describe it other than that. I think she may have been evil. I think it was like foreshadowing. It was like, Pog, it's Rosalina, but something's not quite right with her. Uh-oh. And that's like the conceit of like Mario Galaxy 3. She's like a giant cosmic demon. Which I would personally play. For sure. Why aren't I fishing? I would like to get the community cleanup quest to get my experience that way from catching all the trash for that. And that's how I want to get this level. But that said, it's getting a little bit long in the tooth, this goal. It's kind of overstaying its welcome. 
So I definitely think that we we should consider other options if we don't get it next week. If we don't get our community cleanup goal on the next Monday, then we'll we'll look into other possible things here because I I feel like it would be the best way to go about it. But at the same time, it's not like it's not mission critical necessarily. It doesn't have to be that way. I just think it would be very very nice. Yeah, fish ponds could be good. There there are a few other outs that we could pursue as well, so so we'll we'll talk shop, we'll talk strategy on the next Monday, per, assuming we don't get the community cleanup quest. But like I said, we're well overdue. Fiber seeds so OP too. Fiber seeds would be very nice. But even once I get the recipe for them, I'm not allowed to craft them until I get that goal. So, <laughs> but if I do get that goal, then boy howdy, I'll be happy I, I did this, won't I? Just fi finish out the season of checking. Here's the thing, though. If I finish out the season of checking, and then the next goal is something that's to do with spring, I'm always a little wary of that, of, like, pushing into the next season right before new goal rolls because like if i get something that's spring locked then and not not like the five nights at freddy's spring locked but like locked to the spring season then i'll be mad can junimo's harvest fiber i honestly don't know i feel like they probably can dreadful flashbacks to the island ingredients quest i didn't think it would be that hard to get this quest honestly and I still don't. I still don't think it's going to take as long as the Island Ingredients one did, that's for sure. But at least we have a choice in the matter on this one. We don't have to go for this quest. Island Ingredients was kind of like, you know, there's no other way to go about it. <laughs> FNAF streams when? I played a lot of Ultimate Custom Night back in the day. Isn't the Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out soon? It's. I thought it's supposed to like come out in October, right? Probably like right around Halloween, I would guess. I haven't been keeping up with it. I watched, like, the first trailer for it, and I was like, yo, I'll watch that. And haven't really heard much of anything about it since then. Hello, Mike Tyson. Welcome, welcome. Soon Halloween, probably. Want to hear a joke? I'm all for jokes around here, for sure. As long as they're in good taste, I am more than happy to. Yo, welcome back, Allie. We are still on the pursuit of this, uh, <laughs> of this, of this quest. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's pr that was probably a good call there, Allie. That's uh, <laughs> when I yeah, I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt, but that was uh, when I saw that uh, setup for a joke, I was like, you know what? I was I was getting a vibe. I was getting a vibe for sure, and I, it was you know yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Ali. All right. Two more days here. Two more days until the quest of our dreams. You know it's about to happen, right? You got some teriyaki chicken with some bar Japanese barbecue sauce. That sounds absolutely amazing. I've got so many leftovers from... From... from I was going to say from Halloween, but from uh, Thanksgiving now. I've just got, like, Tupperware container upon Tupperware container full of, like, turkey and stuffing and all that stuff. Because my mom, she, like... She made, like, a pretty big dinner, but she, like, doesn't eat that much. So it kind of came down to me, like, she she ate her little plate of food, I ate my moderately sized plate of food, and then, like, she was like, alright, you take all of it home. And I'm like, what? <laughs> to, to be fair, she did keep, like, the bones of the turkey for, uh, and she wants, I think she's gonna make some, like, turkey soup out of it. But I tell you, nothing quite beats Thanksgiving leftovers. I am very happy to have it. Give the mods a 200% raise. I mean, 200% of zero is still zero. I mean, I wish I was in a position where I could pay the mods. 
and hopefully I will be at some point in the future because the mods definitely deserve some compensation for their for their time and their effort and their amazingness. But for now, it's uh, <laughs> that's not that's the position that I'm in. I'm afraid. We love the mods, though, for sure. 200% more love for the mods. Never enough love for the mods. The mods are great. Love what you do and donate time and volunteer your love for this community. Thank you, Ali. I greatly appreciate it. Get some love and chat for the mods. Argon love if you got it. Just some hearts otherwise. We gotta appreciate our mods around here. The stream would not be the same without them. Thank you very much for, for helping put my mind at ease so I don't have to be constantly monitoring chat 24-7 chat for, for ne'er-do-wells and hooligans. Thank you. Also, tangent, why is hooligan such a great word? And why doesn't it get used more often? I feel like I rarely hear about hooligans. I mean, I hear, actually, I, I hear about hooligans, but I don't hear them called hooligans often enough. Miscreants. Long word is long. Yo, community cleanup! Thank you, Linus! All right. He knows when when push comes to shove and we're about to press on with our lives, Linus comes through in the clutch, as he always does. I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish some of it out to make the valley more beautiful? Yes, sir. We got it. All right, perfect. Does this quest reward friendship with Linus? Do we have to get our banana slingshot ready? Or is this just, like, the fiber seeds and probably a little money and stuff? Lava Lake in the mines? That is my plan, yeah. If your friend Kent is next, you're gonna laugh. That would be cosmically ironic for sure. It does award friendship? Okay. In that case, should I sleep just to lock in the quest and then go do the thing? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's like early, early, early enough in the day, and we shouldn't have to reset for this one. We should easily be able to fish up twenty pieces of trash in the on like floor one hundred of the mines, because there's the only things down there are trash and lava eels. There's not even algae, right? I'm gonna lock it in just to be safe, but. I, th I don't think we're going to have to worry about resetting if we go that strategy, which is probably the only reasonable strategy for us to go. <laughs> you mod on Twitch and it's rough sometimes. It can be rough. Like, our community's pretty good. I think I think even, like, the uh, the odd times where people come in and, and cause, cause a nuisance are few and far between. I'm glad to have the mods around to, to help with those times even so. Our community is really good in that regard. No white algae? I don't think so. I don't think, there, I don't think there's algae of any kind in the lava, because it would burn. I mean, also, I guess my fishing rod would also burn, so like we ca I can't use that logic. It's not entirely ironclad logic, but it is... Uh, I think that's the way, way it goes still. Gourmand Frog Cave. I think we can get gold walnuts in there too, though, can't we? I didn't. I didn't think about the Gourmand Frog Cave because we do have access to that. But I think there's also other stuff there that's not trash. I could be wrong. Trash would burn too. Not if it's soggy. <laughs> Makes no sense at all. But it's where my brain went. All right. I'm also gonna grab my slingshot. Wait. Hold on. Because the frog hat would be cool to get, but I gotta double check this. Let's see. Gourmand frog. Gourmand frog. Uh, da -da -da -da. Island farmhouse. I'm trying to find, like, the fishing information for the gourmand frog's cave. Ginger island. I'm on, I'm on the wiki right now, by the way. Let's see. Island west. But there's not a specific like loca there's not specific location information for this. Please 
Please support Wanda Spark Sparking and watch his new video of the challenge he spent over 700 hours on. Good shout out, actually, Casual Gamer. That is, I, I actually started watching that video um, a little bit before the stream, and it's, it's crazy. I think he's collecting like like every item in Stardew Valley, or he did collect every item in Stardew Valley, and took over 700 hours. So it's a it's a it's a banger for sure. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's let's farm pond is also safe. Frog ca frog cave has hat and walnuts. Farm pond is the safest bet. I think we should. I I want I kind of want to try some of the island stuff. I kind of want to. I mean, level one level one hundred is definitely the way to go in my opinion. Um, level 100 or the, or the, I guess the farm pond does also work pretty well, right? Like, there's no, is there a chance of algae or anything in, in this pond? Like, if we were to fish in that one? Because that would also, that works just fine. Checking trash, checking trash cans is worth it anyway. I guess you never know what we're going to get, right? But I'm kind of curious about the possibilities on the island. Like, we have, we have seven days to complete this quest, so, I mean, I'm not sweating if we don't get it done today, but I'm just kind of curious to see if the Gourmand Frog's cave is a poten potentially good place. Because I think there is the chance for gold walnuts, which would throw things off a little bit. But as long as there's not the chance for, like, green algae and stuff, I think that would be pretty good. The tulips are so pretty, I know, right? I love them so much. Six days, yeah. Valid. You like this song? It's from, uh... It's from... This is still part of the same song, actually. It's just, like, the end of it. It's from Journey of the Prairie King. It's, like, the final boss song from Journey of the Prairie King, I believe. Okay. I'm gonna get these crates out of the way here. Ooh, mango sticky rice. That's true. I could ch I could definitely check the trash cans to help mitigate some of the fishing experience because I am going to get 60 just from catching all the trash. So if I could get some garbage from like garbage cans and stuff, that's probably not a not a bad idea. Um, sorry, I'm all bamboozled right now. I'm trying to fi find out where to put the mango sticky rice. All right, there we go. Yeah, we'll have a decent amount of leeway regardless. Let's go check. I'll go check the garbage just for, you know, because, like, why not? And then we'll pop on over to Ginger Island and see about some... See about trying to get this frog hat and maybe some other stuff, too. Rip checking yesterday. been so long since we did an actual honest to goodness trash run don't worry about it abigail he said don't worry about it get just get off my case will you come on girl <laughs> abigail definitely strikes me as the kind of girl who who's at least considered rummaging around in her neighbor's trash looking for treasure i'm not saying she's done it but i'm saying I wouldn't be surprised to learn that she had done it. Know what I'm saying? Abigail kind of gives off, like, gremlin energy like that a little bit. And we love her for it. Alright. I'm going to pop on over to Ginger Island. Did not get any garbage out of the trash cans today, but that's fine. Excuse me, pardon me. I don't care about any of you people. None of you are my friends. I'm going to Ginger Island. I'm going to make Willie take me and me alone to Ginger Island, and then he has to come back and take you. <laughs> that's a, I mean, that's just mean to Willie, honestly. Oh, well. All right. Get an Omni Geode there. She would rummage in the trash for minerals to snack on. 
I think she I think she would get she would be pretty happy. She's probably a frequenter of the museum trash in that case. <laughs> Close the resort to prank them. <laughs> that would be pretty great, honestly. I don't know if that would even work. She's the type to use the term trash goblin too. She is very millennial. She's millennial coded for sure. All right. I think I should sleep on the island just to just in case I do catch something that I that I don't care for in the Gourmand cave. I I can reset the day nice and easy. Only our fishing level two, because then I could use bait on crab pots to tr for trash, and then save whatever actual fish for for later goals. That would be very nice, honestly. But for now, Mr. Bumbo Frog, I'm here for one reason and one reason only. It's for your hat. It's for a hat that looks like your face. If only we could all be so lucky to have a hat that looks like our face. Actually, no, scratch that. I don't really want that. I don't really want to have a mask that looks like my own face. I feel like that's very creepy. All right, that's trash. Driftwood counts as trash, even though it's not... I mean, I guess it is, like, recyclable in a way. But it's, like, recyclable because, like, people will, like, go and pick up driftwood and, like, put it on their mantelpiece and say it's modern art. And you know what? I'm inclined to agree with them. Frog hat with leprechaun shoes. That would act, that would be a pretty good vibe. I like that. Green outfit, summer styling. Does Joja Cola? Joja Cola doesn't count. Hold on, Joja Cola doesn't count for community cleanup. What does it? Ooh, that's tricky. I didn't even consider that. That Joja Cola doesn't count for this. I think we just have to hope that we don't get too much Joja Cola then. Joja's out to get us again. Yeah, I think we just have to... Like, if we get too many Joja Colas, I think we reset. Because... That's just, like, too much experience that we don't want to sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, I know we immediately get to. Not a great start. We should have... Okay. <laughs> we, we should have a... Definite limit. How much is too much Joja Cola as far as like experience goes? Each one is three experience. Is five Joja Cola too much? It should should five be our limit? That's a gold walnut that also doesn't help us. That th see this it's making things complicated for sure here. Any? I mean <laughs> I think if we say any Joja Cola is too much, we might be in for a rude awakening. All right, this is not, this frog hat is not going so well. Write down which casts give walnuts. I should be keeping track of that. Let's reset this because I feel like we've learned some information here and we should, uh, and we should use that information accordingly. So we should definitely track which casts have golden walnuts tied to them. And then we can strategically use them. All right, so this is cast number one. Everyone's favorite stream segment, counting with Argon. But it's counting over a longer period of time, so we have to be very diligent about it. Cast number one obviously didn't have anything. It's Driftwood again. Is that just random chance, or do you think that this is like a set order of trash? Is this going to be Broken Glasses next? It might just be random, but... Cast 6 and 8, you think? Let's have a look. Ooh! Ooh, frog hat, though! Wait! <laughs> the frog hat just popped on up! A slimy friend that lives on your dome. Okay. Well, you know what? In that case, I'm not going to take any more chances here. <laughs> We got two pieces of trash and we got the frog hat. I think we just, like, leave now. <laughs> I think we just abandon ship and lock it in. Also, frog hat. <laughs> I mean, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a frog 
And the pink is the frog sticking out its tongue. Beatrix is cosplaying as a frog's tongue. Don't think too hard about it. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say we lock this in, probably. One of the best hats. I'm gonna sleep right here and lock it in. Get some frog emojis. And also, holy moly, is that a bot? <laughs> For the first time, it's the first bot I've seen in like 80 million years. <laughs> What the heck, dude? Holy moly. I thought they were, like, eradicated, honestly. Wow, that's a that's a rare sighting. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep for the night. Now, people are saying, and I hear you, and I'm with you, floor 100 of the mines, but we are on the island anyway. Get some, let's get some frog emojis, because I did, I, we, we should definitely, if there's ever a time to call for frog emojis, it's right now. Get our frog emojis in. We're on the island anyway. Should we go fish in the caldera for a chance at the painting? The, the exclusive, unique painting that I think you can only get from the volcano caldera, right? I'm going to go ahead and empty this all out for right now bring these with me just so we can stack them and then go it's like why not right this is a good opportunity the caldera also only has trash and lava eels so like it's kind of a no-brainer it doesn't it doesn't have a chance for gold walnuts it does still have a chance for joja coal i'm pretty sure but it's uh still i mean it's basically the same as doing it on floor 100 of the mines to begin with except we have a chance for the painting now Let me make a frog Beatrix outfit for summer. I mean, judging by the sheer abundance of frog emojis, I feel like I feel like we have to. <laughs> it doesn't. I, it doesn't really look like a frog from behind. It kind of disturbs me from behind. I don't know. There's something off-putting about the frog hat from behind. <laughs> Just don't look at it too long, and it's it's we're, we'll be we'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna fish right here. The water area outside the spa is worth trying to. Is that all trash? I, I mean, there, I know there's the chance for the painting, but is it is it mostly trash otherwise then? I guess I don't know what else it would be. And I think there's a chance for the... Uh, all right, that's one Joja Cola. There's a chance... Yeah, there's a chance for that quest item, the, ne the necklace as well, right? Because I think we did get that secret note. Fountain by the Jojo Warehouse, too. I think that is all stone and wood. I don't think that's uh, that's trash. That's stone, wood, and decorative garbage cans. Jojo Cola at the spa, too. I mean, anywhere that's, like, trash, there's going to be Jojo Cola because it's just part of the same network of items, right? How many years is this playthrough? We are currently on year 17. 17, Cooper. And, and climbing. Exclamation point year if you're ever curious about the, the current year in game. <laughs> what if exclamation point year wasn't for the year in game? What if it was for the year out of game? It's like the most useless command. It's like, hey, what year is it? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's 2023. <laughs> My bad. We've only gotten one Joja Cola out of this so far, which is very, very nice. Still hoping for that, that, that exact thing right there, Physics 101. Okay. We can go ahead and stop fishing here then, and we can go, we can take, we can, should we go fishing at the spa then? I guess we should go fishing at the spa if we want to make ultimate, take, take the most advantage possible of our situation right now. 
The southern pond in Calico Desert gives a pyramid. I do know that. Do we have... Can we reach that pond? Don't you need, like, a, a decently high fishing level in order to reach that pond? Other places can give green algae. I know, and I, I know you can get green algae in Calico Desert. I don't know if you can get it in that specific part of Calico Desert. Am I fish in the JoJo warehouse because it's blue? I like where your head's at. But somehow I don't think so. All right, I need to. Am I? How am I gonna like shepherd all my stuff home? Should I? I guess I can just like leave my tools here for now, and just like go on a, a great fishing extravaganza. I'll keep the Joja Cola just so I can keep track of it. Places where I can get the squirrel figurine as well. I'm just thinking mainly about places that otherwise only have trash. I don't want to risk green algae or anything like that. The spa, I think, is safe, right? Hang the painting on a wall. I want to hang it at home, though, not on Ginger Island. Hey there, Haley, Caroline, Leia. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back to Ginger Island. It's fine. I do feel a little bit naked without all my tools and my traditional inventory setup, but the cost of doing business right now. All right. Should I lock in the day first? Because how many days do we have? We have four days to do this. We've got eight pieces of trash. Should I lock in the day right now just so we have this painting guaranteed? And I don't accidentally bungle something here. I think I probably should, right? I should go to sleep and then go fishing at the spa. Yeah, I don't think... No, there's no green algae on floor 100 of the mines. I know that for a fact. Check trash. Fair enough. Valid. Well, I'll go get Iota. Make it a little bit faster anyway. I'm already, I'm already basically here, so... Hello, Iota. And hello to you as well, Pi. It's been a while. I'm going to say hi to Pi for a little bit. All right. Do our requisite trash run. Hopefully, I mean, the best we could really hope for out of these trash runs is probably like, like two pieces of trash maximum. And there's one. <laughs> Saves us a little bit of, of uh, experience anyway. That makes up for the one Joja Cola that we caught at least. Kind of breaking even that way. Hold on, I don't want Evelyn to see me at my worst. It's okay. She can just phase through Iota, that's fine. <laughs> don't mind me, Evelyn. She's taking quite the circuitous route, I must say. The best we could hope for is like seven. I mean, technically the best you could hope for is eight, because there are eight trash cans, but... But the best you could reasonably hope for is probably, like, three. <laughs> and even then, that's pushing it a little bit. That said, that is two right there. That is two big old trash bags. We are now up one on our Joja Cola ratio. And a bream. I, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> bream is not one of the fish that I can currently, like, catch, is it? So, like... It's kind of a rare fish to have. Why not? This randomizer is all about fish, it turns out. Free bream, baby. Never turned out a free bream. Speedrunner's screaming over the trash bream right now. <laughs> it is used in one recipe, I'm pretty sure. I do remember that about the bream. Quick trash bream going into the... Going into here, because why not? Alright. And also Physics 101. You can get hung up right about there. I love that painting. That's, that might be one of my favorite paintings in Stardew, honestly. It's a really good one. Alright. Lock this in. I don't have any ancient fruit on me currently to, to fill that up. That's awkward. Let's go ahead and lock in the day. Boom. 
Then we'll go do another trash run tomorrow. Or today, rather. We'll go... F well, I'll go fish in the spa first, just in case there's, like, something I have to reset because there's something I don't know about it. I think it should just probably... How did that happen so fast? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> my poor blue chickens! Alright, saved. Saved. We'll pretend it never hit zero. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's go to the spa. Let's go do that rigmarole first. And then I will proceed from there. I need to grass up the animal zone. We probably should, honestly. Just buy just buy a whole heap of grass starters and, and go to town. On like I would probably want to do it on a rainy day so I don't accidentally pet all the animals. It's heaven forbid <laughs> I should pet my animals and give them all the love and care they deserve. Ew. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. All right. Let's see what we got here. It might only be the painting and the amulet. I don't even know if you can catch anything else here. You probably can. Yo, Pi's been pet 900 times. Well done, everybody. That's amazing. So much love for Pi. Well-deserved love. I got experience for catching the ornate necklace. I, for some reason, I thought that would be similar to the to the other ones, and I would not get experience for that. To, like, uh, other, like, special items that you can catch. Okay. At least it's only, like, three experience. That's not that bad. Keep it seems cool. I wish I could put it on. Would I pet all the animals if I get level up farming? I think I, I think petting all the animals would cost too much experience. I, I have like like to level up in farming, I need like nine experience or something silly like that. All right, well we're done we're done there at least. And now I think we just go. Well, I'll go do my trash run, and then we'll go. I think lock in this day, and then because we we still might need to reset even if we because my next plan is just to go fish in floor 100 of the mines. But I still might need to reset if I get too much Joja Cola, so I'm just preparing for that eventuality. I don't want to, like, lose these. So let's get ready for that. Let's do a reverse trash run, start at Joja, and work our way left. Save the amulet for Abigail Caroline befriending. That's a fantastic idea, actually. Very good idea, Funny Fox. Thank you. That is... I, I would not have thought of that. <laughs> I mean, I, I maybe I would have just by happenstance, because I was probably just going to keep the amulet anyway. But now, now I can remember it for when I need to actually befriend one of them. Had all the animals then reset the day. Does that count? No, green algae! No! No, it's okay. Because we didn't actually, we didn't catch the green algae. So it doesn't actually matter for anything the necklace on a sign. I mean, you can, I think, but it, it still doesn't... Like, you still have the necklace in your inventory. It just makes a picture of it on the sign. It's like scanning it with a photocopier. I'm pretty sure you can put the, the necklace on a sign. We can test it, though, because I can actually make signs now. Which sign can I make? The stone sign? Yeah. No trash in the trash. It's a no trash trash kind of day. Put the necklace on another sign by the dwarf as a present for them. Yo, I like where your head's at. This is it's a nice, very ornate necklace. Found outside the bathhouse, it's still wet. <laughs> Gross. But it is a very nice little jewel. I think, I think our homie would probably appreciate it, right? Good call. Good call, Miss Palindrome. Necklace on a sign outside of Pierre's house. Now that's just mean. Alright. Let me... Do I have the stone to make a sign? I have seven pieces of stone. I'm gonna... I mean, I'm headed to the mines tomorrow anyway. So I might as well... Because I think I need, what, 25 pieces of stone? 
I'm headed to the mines. I don't have my pickaxe. I'll just go buy it from the stone from Robin, whatever. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to go buy it because I don't want to, like, make the trip to Ginger Island. Well, you know, maybe I should... Here, you know what? I'm going to... I was going to buy the stone, but now that I think about it, I'm going to need to go back to Ginger Island anyway. So why don't we do it like this? Why don't I drop off all my trash that I don't need right now? Um... I mean, technically, I don't need any of this stuff right now, but I'll keep these, and then I'll go back to Ginger Island, get my stuff, come back here, then we'll lock the day in, then we'll go to the mines, we'll mine 25 stone, we'll build a sign, we'll put the amulet on a sign for our homie, so we can all be happy about it, because I think it's a fantastic idea, and then we can go catch trash and level up and get a new goal. Who would have thought it would have taken over two hours of this stream to level up fishing one time? <laughs> But that's what that's what happens when you have to like min max these levels, I guess. If you really want to get the most bang for your buck out of these things, you really just have to have to make the most of it. Also, we only need four more experience in order to level, to actually hit our goal, which is kind of hype. And we should probably roll our next goal immediately once we hit that level so that we we can use we if, like in case our next goal happens to play into Oh, it's kind of a busy day on the beach today. Jeez Louise. In case our next goal happens to, like, affect what we're doing right now, then we can we can account for that and pivot if need be. But right now, though, let me go ahead and bring boop, 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 boop. That's everything. All right. Locked and loaded. Typical Argon, the most single line of thought, doing everything the most direct way possible. Hey, you know, I have a brand, I'm sticking to it. How you doing, Sam? Maybe I should learn to play the ukulele. Ukulele? Abby on the congas and Sebastian on the steel drum, the pelicans of paradise. Yo, I love it. What's the matter? You look worried? Is it just, is, no, I don't look worried. I'm hype about that. That, sound, that sounds like a fun idea. Fun little tropical side adventure for the band here for it. Talk to Shane, too. I should have. I forgot he was actually there. Ukulele hype. Boys day out at Ginger Island. The boys need time to themselves. The boys, the boys need time to relax just as much as anybody else does. I fully... Respect it, and I'm glad that they embrace it. Yo, the bots must have figured out some new scripting technology to get around YouTube's automated processes, because we haven't seen them in so long. But now, all of a sudden, they're back with a vengeance. That's two in one night. That's wild. <laughs> get it the heck out of here. How do they get away with these names, even? Anyway, let me go ahead and put those away. Um, let's go put the butterfly bow away. Should we get our should we get a spring or a summer outfit ready? Do we have a good green outfit to go with our our little froggy hat? We do have some green options. Um, I guess I can go and get a fresh shirt a fresh shirt from Sandy as well because it's late enough in the day that I might as well try that. No, thank you, thank you, Allie, for catching that one. Thank you, Lisa, for catching the, the first one as well. I don't know if I thanked you properly, but appreciate you. All right. Boom, boom. Boom. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Does Sandy happen to have the perfect shirt to accessorize with our frog hat? I have a feeling... That she does. I have a feeling she's not going to let us down. I I just know. I know my girl Sandy is going to have my back on this one. She's going to see my hat and she's going to be like, I got you, girl. She really did, though. Wait a minute. That's so, that's so good. What the heck is this? What is this weird green alien shirt, dude? Yo, I love it. <laughs> what the heck is that? 
<laughs> it's like a frog on a shirt. A little frog suit. It's not as perfect as I thought it was. I thought it was like a whole green like muscle shirt or something. But it's 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 merely a green a green logo. Frog fit for summer, baby. Rare green jelly. I I actually think we have some better green shirts that will that will match our our outfit better here though. We're gonna go full frog mode. I think it's time to go full frog. Alright. Because we had what did we have here? We have that shirt. This green hoodie. We got like a slime shirt. We got that one. We'll I'll give it I'll give it its due day. We got lime green. Lime green stripes. We have the mint blouse. I don't think either of those are gonna be a good fit though. We got the slime. I think the hoodie, honestly, might be the best fit here. Fresh frog fit for fun summer days. Amen. I, I kinda like the I kinda like the vibe this hoodie is giving off right now. As well as we got. We got the slime shirt. It's not bad. Leprechaun shoes. I mean we got we gotta rock the leprechaun shoes. There's just no doubt about that. Leprechaun shoes all the time. Yeah, I feel like the hoodie is good. Luau skirt would be very cute. What do we have to trade to get the Luau skirt? Because you get that from the island trader, right? Yeah, for pants, I don't know if we have any like green pants to match to match this. We don't. We need something. We need we need green pants. Genie pants? We could dye these genie pants green. How do we feel? Would the genie pants be a good fit? They're like little froggy bottoms. Or will we do shorts? 50 taro root for the luau skirt. Do we have that? We grew a bunch of taro, didn't we? Probably not that much, though. Yeah, we can, we can, we can dye some pants for sure. We can get some shorts or some pants or something and then, then just dye them. Because I think we, we definitely want to go... We probably want to go all green here. Go green or go home. Hello, my little Junmo friends. Okay, I gotta be careful where I click here. <laughs> we only have 13 tarot roots. And probably not any in the other thing either here. Uh, six. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't have anywhere near 50 tarot roots. We have, like, 20. The genie pants kind of hide the leprechaun shoes. Oh, I see what you mean. They kind of well, when she's walking, they kind of like pop out. But when we're just standing still, they do kind of hide your shoes, don't they? That's probably not what we want. We could go shorts. Like, what if we if we did like green shorts of some kind, or do we just go like green pants? Yeah, we turned off the Junimo harvesting for right now. Who stands still in this game? We could we could go green pants, we could go green shorts. I don't know what the what the play is here. What about long dress? Like if this was green, probably not. Relaxed fit shorts? We do have some relaxed fit shorts. Relaxed fit shorts. That could kind of work. If if they were green. If they were green, I could see that. White pleated skirt. White pleated skirt. It's not bad. It match. It matches the the vibe of our. It matches our hoodie a little bit. Get a little pop of color. Green jeans. I was kind of feeling the genie pants. I don't know. I don't. Maybe they need to be a different color. But I kind of do feel these genie pants. White is also easy to dye. That's true. We could we could go with a pleated skirt as well. It's like frog's legs. I feel like the genie pants are are our best bet here. 
I need to get some- I need to dye them, though. I need to dye them, so we need- to that end, we need things to dye them with. So let's go ahead and... I'm gonna put away the necklace for right now. Alright, we have- we have blue dye in the form of ancient fruit. I'm just gonna rock with that, that's fine. We got fiber for green. What do we have elsewise? We've got oranges for orange. Apples for red. What do we have that's purple? That's purple? We need purple and yellow, right? Purple and yellow. Yellow is sap. That's the easiest one, right? Or did we we had something better for sap, didn't we? I mean we have a lot of a lot or bet for for yellow. And purple. What do we have? Purple. Grapes, blackberries, void essence. Did we do grapes previously? We do have blackberries. Are blackberries a part of, a part of the purple dye spectrum? I do have 28 eggplants. Oh, bananas. Alright, will I make it to Emily and Emily's in time? I think I think Emily's closes at 8 p.m., right? So I think we'll probably be okay to make it here. And technically, I mean, it's not Emily's right now. Emily's at work, so Haley's all by herself here. Excuse me, pardon me, Shane. Don't mind if I don't mind me. Don't mind the frog girl bustling on through here. All right. Hello, Haley. I mean, I've never met you, but I hope you don't mind me just out here using your dye pots. All right. Common mushroom is also orange, actually. It's good to know. All right, ancient fruit. I mean, can I just, like, do this? Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. All right. We'll dye the genie pants. This is what we want. Do we want to go... I guess we want to go green. I don't go, like, kind of... But probably not, like, the same green. I mean, not, like, a lime green like this, either. Probably, like, a bluish green. Also, like... How do we feel about, like, that? Or do we want to go, like, darker green than that? Dark green? This is 77 right now. We can, we can go darker. I don't want to go, like, too dark. Ooh, I do kind of like the, like, a little bit darker, though, maybe. Middle green between hat and shirt. I think this is good. I think I think this is this is very homogenous. I am become frog. I am become frog. Now more than ever. Here we go. It's perfect. Lock it in and get your frog emojis in chat because where did Beatrix go, chat? Chat, Beatrix has disappeared. Have you seen this farmer? Because all I see on my screen is a frog riding a horse right now. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? How did we get so sidetracked? <laughs> We're trying to level up fishing here, and I've just turned into a frog. Maybe my next goal will be to get the, uh... To get the marriage star drop. That way I can get a kiss from my true love. And become a princess instead of a frog. We can tell our own little fairy tale here. It probably won't work out that way, but you know... I'm a storyteller at heart, so I have to I have to hope. <laughs> what if we just stay in we could just stay in this frog outfit until we get that the marriage star drop goal. That would be kind of funny. We do have a tiara. <laughs> we could make a princess a princess outfit for sure. Alright. I'm gonna lock in this day. Perfect. Alright. Now everything is officially taken care of. Hello, Pi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pi wants to play. Pi is very appreciative of the 900 pets. Alright. Um, I would like to take this and this, and then we will go give our homie... I'm gonna go ahead and put, put all this stuff away that we don't need right now. We're gonna go get some stone for a sign for the necklace in order to manage that. So many jade for staircases. Our next Skull Cavern run is going to be crazy.
He married Sebastian and he gave you a bat wing and you were not impressed. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts, right? You know, maybe you thought you need to make more lightning rods or something like that. And be frogtastic. I feel so at home right now. This mu this somber rainy music playing in the background, literal rain, and I'm a frog. It's perfect. It couldn't be better. Oh, I should go do a trash run real quick before we get too involved here. How much more trash do we actually need? We need 10 more pieces of trash, and we have two days to get it. Should be highly doable. Do we have another green hat for Iota? I don't know if we do, actually. Should have gotten a second frog hat. such a vibe right now. Ooh, and it's even more of a vibe all of a sudden. Where were you when Kazoom dropped today? Oh, baby! I gotta go pay a visit to my homie. My homie playing the kazoo. I have a mental image right now, just of all the all the coincidental events that have just transpired. I now have a mental image of a frog playing a kazoo, and I'm so happy that I do. <laughs> why is the frog? Why is a frog the perfect animal to play a kazoo, dude? Could you picture just like a little a little like chorus of frogs sitting on their little lily pads, going absolutely like nuts with their kazoos? <laughs> That would be so cute. We have barely scratched the surface of Kazoom technology. Yo, frog! My brethren, come back! <laughs> I am I am one. We are one. Bing. Eat the field snack. I'm gonna go ahead and mine some stone. We only need a little bit of stone. We need like two big, two giant boulders in order to get enough stone for a sign. And then we can put this, the amulet on a sign for our for our best homie friend. And we got it, we gotta get it done before Kazoom is out here, so let's lock it in. Best part of the song right here. I love those kazoos playing down like that. It's so good. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. All right. And you know what? I'll grab this extra stone down here as well because Probably gonna need more stone in the future. Here we go. Uh, craft stone sign, perfect. Friendship sign, baby. Hello, my homie. I'm back once again with another, yet another sign of our friendship. Pay no mind to the fact that this belongs to Caroline and Abigail. I know that you like to take other people's public, I mean private property. Um. So that's for you, in honor of you and everything you do. We get some homies in chat, please? Homies in chat for the homie. Is dangerous in the mines? Why don't you buy a few things from my shop to ensure your safety? You all, you always, you're always looking out for my best interests, homie. Beautiful. All right, I'm off to floor 100, though. I have some trash to clean up. And I'm just gonna hope I don't get too much Joja Cola in the process. This is no environment for a frog. Wait, this is not your average frog, either. Alright, off to a good start. Just need nine more pieces like that. Also, wait, we I mean, technically we only need one more piece like that. We're about to level up. We're about to reach our goal. Let's do it. Broken glasses, that is level two fishing right there. 
I'm still a newcomer, but I'm a newcomer with level two fishing. Perfect. Goal successfully achieved. Now the question is, do we roll our next goal now, or do we finish up fishing down here? Because there is the, still the chance, however slim, that we could, that we will end up resetting this day, and we will lose our fishing goal, or we will lose our fishing level, and then technically the goal won't be completed. So I think we should probably finish up here just so we know for a concrete absolute fact that the goal is complete. How many trash days do we have left? We have one more trash day. I think, right? Let me catch this in a second to see. Boo. Uh, yeah, we have two days left, so we have today and tomorrow, so we could... I could, t I could go lock this in right now. I could go lock this in, and then come back and, and, like, we'll do one more trash run tomorrow. Get whatever trash we can. Yeah, I think that's probably a good, good call, Miss Palindrome. I think we should go... Just take this, take this home, especially because we got a Joja Cole now. We don't want to get more than we, than we're bargaining for here. Yeah, I like that plan of attack. Lock it in, roll our next goal, and then finish off this quest. Because we still have time to do so. We only need, what, seven more pieces of trash? Seven more? I ain't sweating it. Alright. You ever take a... You ever, like, just, like, take a step back and realize how busy your house is in Stardew Valley? Like, I walked in here, and I was, like, just, like... I mean, I've seen this place so many times at this point, but I, like, look... I, like, was, like, far enough back, and I look at my screen, and I'm like, holy moly, this place tells a story. Like, what the heck is going on here? And, I mean, it ultimately does tell a story. Kind of what I love about it, honestly. All right. Uh, Joja Cola, lock that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put away the ornate necklace in a place of safekeeping. Put it around the bear's neck over here. No. I'll put it in the resources chest because it's a resource to gain friendship in the future. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Boom. Done. Level 2 fishing. Now that's an official goal completion if I've ever seen it. Holy moly. New crafting recipe, bait. That's bait, though? That's bait. We're not allowed to craft that bait. It's baiting me to craft bait, but I will not craft the bait until the randomizer baits me into doing so. Which, speaking of, maybe this is our time. Leveling up in my farming game? Wait, am I still a newcomer? I am still a newcomer, even after that message. I don't know when I become not a newcomer anymore, but... It's got to be soon, right? <laughs> For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and digress the heck out of here. Boom. And let's go get ourselves a new goal. Got the randomizer open, ripe, and ready to go. Let's make it happen. Bring you in. Oop, that's the wrong button. That's the right button. Here we go. All right, perfect. Do you think we could get, for the first time in randomizer history, back-to-back level-up goals? I would be so happy, so happy, if we could do that. But the only way to know is to first finish this lovely goal. Thank you for... Thank you for opening up Frog Beatrix into our lives, honestly. That's, that's what this goal ultimately was. We can go on about, you know, the Fiber Seed quest and min-maxing everything. Ultimately, it was about Frog Beatrix, though, so... <laughs> I think we can all agree on that one. And, at 9.4% of our way through this entire challenge, we press ever onwards towards that 10% with... Chip a Starfruit. We have Starfruit, right? We still we 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 still have star fruit and also summer is coming up so like it's not even a problem if we don't 
Shipping Starfruit. That's pretty huge, honestly. Speaking of huge, Sarah Yams, thank you for the gifted membership to Sleepy Chase. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. That is that is very generous of you. Thank you very much. And thank you to Ali for uh Thank you to Ali for updating the exclamation point goal as well. I'm gonna go ahead and unpin this current goal. Badoosh. Skidoosh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we still... We, I mean, we, we must still have Starfruit in reserve somewhere here, right? Yeah, we should go finish the trash. I can ship it today and then still go have time to finish the trash and stuff, so... I am not mad about that. And then I have to make sure I have enough time to still go, like... Slingshot Linus to get his friendship down. <laughs> if, if that's something I have to do. Which I was told that it, that it is. Alright. I'm gonna write it down here. Starfruit. Perfect. Shipping goals like getting a consolation prize in the lottery. <laughs> you know, it's not bad, but it's not what we were looking for either. Coconuts for Linus. I don't know if I have enough coconuts to, to load a slingshot, honestly. I guess I could buy them from Sandy, but... Actually, only on a specific day, right? Only on, like, Monday. Hasn't Linus suffered enough? Sorry, Linus. It's nothing personnel, Linus. Nothing personnel whatsoever. All right. Bring you on in here. I will update our current goal. This one shouldn't take that long, but I mean, I'll, the day is going to be kind of long because we're going to go fishing trash, so I'll at least have this up in the top left for posterity's sake. Boom. All right. Let's go see if we have a starfruit ready to go. I see no starfruits in here. Did I turn all my starfruit into wine? That sounds like something I might have possibly done <laughs> in the past. I might, I might have totally turned all my starfruit into wine. That would be so embarrassing. I'll go check the Junimo huts. Just like what happened with the pumpkins. I shall go have a look for starfruit down here. And if not, then you know. We'll just have to grow some in uh, in summer. That's no problem. Starfruit, starfruit. I see no starfruit. Turn on Junimos for flowers. I will not. No. <laughs> These are the Junimos flowers. They get to keep them. They don't have to harvest them. They're not harvesting a day in their lives unless they have to. The Junimos, those, those flowers, live this spring and die this spring. <laughs> They'd be in their house. I'm I'm here for the imper impermanence of it, honestly. It's a nice memory. And they don't have to keep them anymore. These Junimos are union strong. They'll die around the Junimos. All right. I'm going to hit you with a pole while I go and catch the rest of this trash. Should the... Should we... Should the Junimos harvest the tulips? Yes or no? I have no particularly strong feelings one way or the other. I don't know what would make for the most satisfying outcome. Whether the Junimos get to keep the tulips, or whether they are they get to keep the memory of the tulips, which is all the more sweet, pot potentially. But for now, let's go catch this. Oh, let's go let's go do a trash run. Trash run real quick. Trash run first to see if we can get some last minute free trash. And then we will go back to fishing. Like watching something die when you could have prevented it. I mean, I'm just want, I'm just happy to give the Junimos like their siesta though. They've been working so hard for so long. I feel like I just feel bad making them making them work and harvest the tulips of their own volition. Maybe that maybe they're happy to pick the tulips. I don't know. I can't really ask them. I can't. I guess I do speak Junimo, so 
<laughs> canonically, that is that's canonically a thing that Beatrix does. Junmos with their little huts full of flowers. That is a very cute little visual of them just, you know, decorating the insides of their huts with all the, the various tulips of the season. I am mildly concerned that, uh, that all the different colors and quality potential of the flowers is going to fill up the Junimo huts like nothing else. But you know what? Maybe that's what they want. At the end of the day, maybe that's what they crave most of all. Yo, welcome on in, Gray. Good to see you. They stop harvesting after a certain time. They do have a bedtime, I suppose. All right. Look, I know when I'm beat. I know when I've when I must bow and acquiesce to the whims of chat. Seventy percent of people want these tulips to be harvested. Let's go let the Junimos collect their flowers. And then we're gonna go catch all the rest of this trash because I need to make sure to I need to make sure I'm doing this. <laughs> I should probably bring my slingshot just in case I need it. Alright. First and foremost. Get to work. Get to work, little Junimo friends. You got many a flowers a flower to pick. I feel like those Junimo huts are gonna fill up <laughs> so fast. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Alright. Let's go grab the... The pink Junimo plucked the pink pink tulip immediately. He was just waiting for the... waiting for the word, I suppose. Alright. I need my slingshot. I need something to put in my slingshot. For my best buddy Linus. I will I will load up. You know what? Let's get the bananas. The old classic bananas. If I could if I had enough coconuts, we could do coconuts. It's one of Linus's favorite fruits, so he would he would appreciate it more than anybody else. I could also do cactus fruit technically, I think, which would probably not that's probably like the worst possible option as far as Linus would be concerned, I assume. But all right. Grab all the trash so that we're ready to drop it off. And now let's go finish off this day in style. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the turmoil that would put Linus through if, like, after I go through all this trouble of helping him clean up the community, fishing all this trash out of here, and he's like, oh, wow, that Beatrix, I, you know, she's kind of a weird one. I've, she's been living on, like, like, all on her own, not really talking to anybody for the past 17 years. But she really, you know, she really helped out the community this day. I think I'm starting to like her. And then I and then I show up to his to his house. He's got a big smile on his face, and he's like, "Oh, Beatrix, it's so nice of you to stop by. Thank you for your help earlier." And then wordlessly, Beatrix lifts the slingshot in one rigid arm, and Linus is kind of confused for a moment. He's like, what, "What's that for? What are you What are you gonna do with that?" And slowly, deliberately, Beatrix loads a single cactus fruit into <laughs> a single very spiny cactus fruit into the into the elastic of the slingshot and pulls it back and you can see the fear in Linus's eyes and all of a sudden all that all that friendship all that goodwill <laughs> but you can, I'm sure you can picture what happens next <laughs> this is why Linus is so defensive at the beginning look I wouldn't do it if I didn't have to it's it's just it's just the unfortunate reality of the situation We can just be thankful that we're not actually doing it with cactus fruit. You completed Linus' quest in the winter, which makes this cutscene even crazier. 
All right, are we up to... We need three more pieces of trash. Yo, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. How dare he appreciate your help cleaning up the community? No, Linus. No, I don't want to be your friend. No! Oh, but if the, if our if our current goal had been befriend Linus, could you imagine? <laughs> There's a world out there. There's a timeline where that happened. Not this timeline, unfortunately. One final piece of trash. Wait for it. Wait for it. This trash frog smells some garbage. Ooh, baby. Get some trash emojis in the chat to celebrate our new trash year. We got it. <laughs> and only we only got like two Joja Colas overall, I think, right? So that's not too bad. All right, now we just have to go deposit all this. Hey there, Linus. Don't mind me. Just off to the train stop with fists fistfuls of broken glass and and soggy garbage bags right over here boom 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 perfect there we go community cleanup 500 dollars successfully done linus it didn't give me a friendship heart with him it didn't give me friendship with linus let's go where is Linus? I haven't even met the guy! <laughs> yes! I haven't met Linus, so it didn't give me the friendship! Yo! Being antisocial wins again! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, hit him anyway. No, I will not. This this slingshot of bananas will be reserved for a special occasion. We're not we're not gonna we're not gonna banana fi Linus. I would feel so bad. He's got that dialogue about people like throwing stones at his tent and stuff. I would just feel like I'm like I'm at like I'm piling on. Heck yeah, dude. Alright. Done and done. Get this Joja Cola the heck out of here. Alright. Now I can get my, I can get everything sorted out here. Get my inventory the way I'd like it again. Just like so. Doot, 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 doot. Is that everything? I think that's, I think this is my usual inventory setup. Maybe not quite like this. I think it's more like that though. Maybe more like that even. Perfect. Check the tulips. I probably should, shouldn't I? Because I don't want the I don't want the Junimos to have like harvested most of the tulips and then be like, we have no room to put the rest of our tulips. So you know what I'm actually gonna do? Let's bring down the because I have another chest here, don't I? I actually have a couple other chests. Let's bring down one of these chests and we'll we'll have it as like an overflow option for the Junimos. I'll move some of the crops that are in their huts into this so that we don't have to worry about that situation. I have starfruit seeds in the green seed chest. I did see them earlier. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, though. They managed to to stuff every last tulip into their into their huts, though. They certainly pulled that off. All right, there's an empty spot right here. Let's fill it up. Oops, that's not right. <laughs> More like that. There we go. All right, make it nice and purple to match the the meteor. It'll blend right in. Look at all those tulips. Holy moly. For summer, I just need two starfruit seeds unless I want more. And then we can plant a bunch of summer spangles. The tricky thing is that if we want the field of summer spangles, then, like, we have to, like... If, if we just... If we only grow, like, two starfruit, we have to get the Junos harvested. But they'll also harvest the summer spangles. Fairy roses. Fairy roses will be fall, right? 
I'm going to move these things that are not flowers into this chest over here. That way the Junimos can just enjoy their flowers to their heart's content without any, like, years-old potatoes ruining the vibe. Perfect. Toggle on and off. Just talk. Just toggle it on and off until until we hit the star fruit. That seems a little too touchy for me. What if? Hear me out. What if we grow a field of star fruit like I'm a normal Stardew Valley player? <laughs> what if I play the game as was intended and grow star fruit because it's the most profitable crop? <laughs> And then Summer Spangles. I can get just the briefest whiff of what it feels like to be a normal player in this game. <laughs> I can just get... It's not even, like, all the way there, because I don't even harvest the star fruit myself, which is what people normally do. But, like, I get the, you know, just, just, just a morsel, just a morsel of a casual playthrough sprinkled into this challenge. Do you think, do you think that would be okay? Too complicated, huh? Growing star fruit. <laughs> you play normally? I, I don't understand. I mean, I know it's kind of a wild idea. It's kind of a wild concept to, like, just grow a bunch of star fruit and ship the star fruit and get money for shipping the star fruit. But I think it could work. I, I think it, this could be, like, this could be a new meta. This could be a new meta for Stardew playthroughs in the future. Maybe no one's tapped the potential of, of Starfruit up until now. We need the puppets again. M Mom, come get me. I'm scared. My challenge runner, he's not challenge running anymore. He started a casual playthrough. He's just growing Starfruit now. Why am I even watching this? All right. Let's go see, um, because I do have some starfruit seeds. I have 10 starfruit seeds right here, which means I only need 128 more starfruit seeds to fill out the entire field with them. Let's go buy them. Yo, we got a hat trick of bots in here. <laughs> How does this happen? They're only using emojis. I feel like they previously used not emojis, and maybe that's how the sensors caught them. Maybe emojis are getting around the sensors. Be gone, bot. Hold on, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Lisa. I was just about to get it. I wasn't sure if you were if you were still here. I thought you were, but there we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ship Pierre's starfruit. All right, let's buy 120, 130. I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? It's fine. We'll have a couple extra starfruit seeds just for for funsies. Also, shirt. What is this? It looks like the. It looks like an iron breastplate or something. <laughs> this it's like a gray like. It's just a gray shirt. For rainy days. I'm about to about to go to sleep and have my stream full screen on your phone. No worries, Allie. Yo, Blade, welcome on in. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Very descriptive. My favorite thing about the shirts is how descriptive they are. Every single one has been just a a palpable story that that tells you everything you need to know about the each shirt. This one, for instance, is a wearable shirt. They don't even tell you that it's a gray wearable shirt because obviously you can see that for yourself. <laughs> shirt you can wear is my favorite part of it. I still think my favorite new newfound like description for any item still is just that jelly is, is literally just gooey. I don't know how I never realized that for so long, but I will never forget the legacy of gooey. Thank you to Museum Grack Reads for another 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. 
I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lock this one in. Beautiful. Summer is upon us, just in time for starfruit season. This goal couldn't have come around at a better time, honestly. I definitely should have saved starfruit previously that I grew, but if I had to get this goal at some point, then I'm glad it was like literally right as we're going into summer here. I've got new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. My man is expanding his stock after 17 years, holy! Good for you, Willy. Slow clap for Willy. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what a goo goose is doing. I feel like this is a reference I don't understand. <laughs> but, I, but I love every minute of it. He's finally got a deluxe fishing pole. I can buy a better fishing pole. And I can craft fiber seeds. Thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. The waters are looking much cleaner. I think everyone will appreciate it. I know I will. As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you how to grow your own fiber. I hope it's useful. Linus. Does that give me the friendship with him? It does not. I, I'm going to assume, unless it was just wrong intel before, that I could not, uh, that I would get friendship from that quest. I, I'm going to assume it's because I've not met Linus yet. What? How have I not met Sandy? That's kind of wild. I feel so bad about I go to visit Sandy more than like any other villager in this dang place. And I don't even know her name. <laughs> Oh, I didn't real. Oh, I'm gonna have to hoe all this stuff. All right, we'll, we'll be busy for a hot second here. Befriend Sandy next, please. Justice for Sandy. Befriend Sandy, or alternatively, upgrade hoe. Not that it would be retroactively useful, but. I can't help but feel like an upgraded hoe would probably help things out here. That said, I'm so used to just, like, hoeing like this and nothing else but this because I've never upgraded my hoe in so long. I don't even remember. I couldn't tell you the last time that I, like, upgraded a hoe while playing Stardew Valley in any capacity. I'm so used to just the default hoe. Because we didn't do it during Price Perfection, did we? There, there, was, there would be no reason to, to upgrade your hoe. Backpack upgrade? There's always a chance. I haven't played Stardew normally ever. That does raise a, an interesting question. I don't know what I'm going to do when Stardew 1.6 comes out. Who, who knows when that's going to be, so I have time to figure it out, I'm sure. But when that drops, I don't know if I'm going to do, like, you know, like a casual playthrough and just, like, you know, not post put any restrictions on myself. Or, the like, the only complete perfection playthrough that I have is the price of perfection. So I don't know if I just, like, go back into Frugal Farm and and do the do the stuff I need to in 1.6 without spending any money. I don't I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm excited for when it does happen to discover it all with you. I feel like I should probably at least do like some casual play in order to understand what's going on in Stardew 1.6 when it drops. But also, I can't leave I I cannot let Legacy of Frugal Farm wither away. I need, I need, it needs to stay up to date with 1.6 and beyond, surely. What that entails, I'm going to have no idea. Oh my god, it's a blue chicken! <laughs> blue chicken jump scare! Yo, you're fully grown! Is that you, Joja? Or perhaps Azure or Cerulean? Oh my goodness, you almost got me to pet you. <laughs> Alright, I gotta be careful here. Hey, Sarah Yams, thank you for the gifted membership once again, by the way. Thank you for the support. I greatly appreciate your generosity. Thank you so much. You'll need to download one. What are you talking about, Siri? <laughs> did you guys hear that? What, is, what did Siri say? She said, I don't see an app for that. She doesn't see an app for blue chickens. All right. I mean, that's that's a that's a market that has yet to be cornered, I suppose. Yes, th thank you, Sarah, for the gift, for the one gifted sub. 
and for being a member for two months at the Positron level. Thank you so much. Going to bed now, but assume, assume we'll be able to ship a star fruit today. Next goal, ship a void egg. You're calling your shot now. I respect it. Have a great night, and thank you once again for the support. Very much appreciate it. Lots of support tonight. It's always it's always amazing and humbling to see. All right, that's it. that's all the star fruit planted. Thera equals Siri. I feel like it, they don't sound that similar. Like obviously, like spelling wise, they're they're right next to each other. But I guess maybe it depends on how you pronounce it. Like if I pronounce Sarah really fast, then maybe maybe Siri would catch that one. But it's also only if I say like "Hey Sarah," not "Hey," not just saying Sarah. So it's, it's a very particular set of words. Machines are dumb. They definitely can be. All right. Let's grab the watering can, which actually is upgraded. It honestly, like, really does feel weird to be just, like, planting a crop of star fruit at the start of summer, going down, watering it. <laughs> like, it's, like, this, obviously, this is not new to anybody. Anyone who's played Stardew for any length of time has probably done, like, a field of star fruit at some point because it's so profitable. But for me, it's, it's such a novel concept. I am starting to feel exhausted, though. That's what these common mushrooms are for. Did we use speed grow? We have not used speed grow. I don't know if we have any speed grow, like, left over. I know we can buy it from Sandy on, like, what, Thursdays? Or we could buy it from Pierre for more expensive. But honestly, we're not in that much of a hurry anyway, so I don't feel like we necessarily need to use Speed Grow. Not me currently growing a field of starfruit as we speak. It's okay. Raise your hand in chat if you've ever grown a field of starfruit. We've all, we've all done it at one point or another. There's, there's no shame in it. Just because, you know... In a challenge run, you very seldom get the chance to do that because of, like, weird restrictions that you place upon yourself. It's okay. This is a safe space. Raise your hand if you've ever planted a field of star, a field of star fruit, because you're not alone, as you can clearly see. You're planting a field of star fruit for Ginger Island very soon. You were never a fan of star, of star fruit in Stardew Valley versus Ancient Fruit. I like it. I mean, it's a, it's a debate as old as time itself. Starfruit versus ancient fruit. Starfruit is more profitable. Just, like, mathematically, that's true. Um, but ancient fruit, you don't have to replant. Ancient fruit, you just you plant it once, and it's good to go. Especially if it's in the greenhouse. Then it's, like, good to go just forever, and it just, it just gives you stuff every seven days. So it's really just a matter of how willing you are to put in the uh, to put in the work to, to replant the seeds. Is there isn't there a thing? No, I think this is a mod that I'm thinking of. I was thinking that there's like a thing you can put on your sprinkler to like replant the seeds for you once you harvest them. There's the there's the enricher, but that put that puts in. That makes sure your soil is fertilized. Not it doesn't replant seeds for you. Do I have that right? I I don't think I've ever used an enricher ever in Stardew Valley. But I I definitely know they exist. All right, I need one more mushroom to keep me going here. 1.7. The enricher is so pointless. Yeah, I mean you can you can effectively be your own enricher if you if you really need to, right? Yeah, because they just like they fertilize. That's probably a, a decent use case for the enricher, I would assume. 
But you can't have an, an enricher and, like, what? what's the other one? The pressure nozzle? I don't think you can put both of them on your sprinklers, right? And if I'm picking either the enricher or the pressure nozzle, which expands, like, the range of a sprinkler, I'm picking the pressure nozzle 10 times out of 10. Like, that is so much more useful than the enricher. And I feel like that's not a, that's not a controversial take by any means, but ju judging by the response in chat, especially, enricher is garbage. The hopper and the enricher being completely useless. I wish the hopper was more useful. There are cases where you can use it. I think <laughs> I've I've never personally used one. But the but it's it's I I think it's probably more useful than the enricher, by and large. We're good to sleep now, right? We planted all the star fruit, watered it. We're good to go, I think. Enricher has a niche use where you can place it while doing initial planting. Have one and move it around the farm with you. Oh, uh, that's actually kind of a neat idea. Because then it like then you don't have to manually fertilize every single spot. Okay. The fact that you can move the enricher around definitely adds to its value. Like, you can move it and just place it. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Hopper's only useless if you have automate. What's my silo situation right now? We're still good. I'm just very paranoid about the silo because it's been, like, it's gotten empty a few times already. All right. This, this will tell you how long it's been since I've grown star fruit in any real capacity. How long do these things take to grow? 13 days, so they'll be ready on the 14th, right? That is fine by me. We can basically just sleep those days away. Ship however much star fruit we want. And then uh, move on to our next goal, whatever that might be. I mean, I'll probably I'll roll the next goal. I don't know if I'm going to do it because it is get, starting to get late. We're almost at the three-hour point of the stream. I don't know if I want to go much longer than that, but we'll see. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Depends on what the goal is, to a certain extent. On the 14th, unless I've got an agriculturist, agriculturalist or speed grow. I did not put in speed grow, and let me check. Let me check. No, I don't have agriculturalist, that's for, that's for sure. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, boy. I don't even, you know, I'm saying agriculturalist. I don't even know if it's that's what it's called anymore. It's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, man. Dang the sass. I'm not sass. I mean, I'm, if I'm sassing anybody, I'm sassing the randomizer. <laughs> oh, I need to check the level 10 perk. You're right, Blade. My bad. Nope, still, still, still looks like we're uh, <laughs> we're out of luck on that one. Thank you for the correction, though. I appreciate it. All right, locking in. We have to make our jams and wines one at a time. What an amazing day it will be when we get the goal to craft a keg or a preserves jar. It's not going to be for a long time because it's locked behind like farming levels and stuff. But can you can you imagine what a beautiful day that's going to be? It's going to be like like the floodgates just opening. It's, it's going to be like I open the door and for the first time I see the light. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. I can make more than one wine at a time. And at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is new. But we don't need more money. It's the principle of the matter, though. <laughs> All right. Um, I need my copper watering can. And I need my fall seeds. I'm going to water from a distance because I can, baby. Hopper watering can. What a lovely day. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. Should we try and get the other wild seed types? 
I don't see the particular need right now, just because I still need stuff from the fall seeds. I do, like I said earlier, I do want to grow more of the wild seeds in the gardening pot, because I think that would be smart. But right now, I still need, I still need at least one more hazelnut. If I can get this last hazelnut, then I feel like we can probably, well, we probably need more than one. Actually, we need multiple more hazelnuts, because we need four for cooking roasted hazelnuts eventually. And then we need, uh, we need one to ship, so we're going to need at least five that way. So I'm content to just roll on this fall seed train as long as we need to. Roasted hazelnuts only requires three nuts. Is this true? Well, I've been operating under false pretenses all this time. Roasted hazelnuts. You're right, it only does require three. Well, I still need four then because I need one for shipping, so I'll keep it going. And not just because I'm stubborn and don't want to admit I was wrong. Silo check. That is kind of where I where I lose a lot of the time is when like when the silos when I'm like sleeping days on end like that so it's a good call. Silo check. I'll keep some hay on me honestly. It's a good reminder. Angle was pretty critically acclaimed from what you heard, and yet I didn't see it until like ten years after it came out. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I would probably give Tangled a, like a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. And I've been... I was meaning to check out the... There was like a spin-off show they did of Tangled that is supposed to be like really good. I know a few of the songs from it. But I don't know the actual show itself. I never went and watched it. I also need a hazelnut for craft fall seeds. True... That's probably not for a while, though, because that's behind, like, forging level ups and stuff. That would be, like... Is that, like, forging level 6 or something? That you get fall seed recipe? So we probably have time. And by then, I'll just be able to, like, forge the hazelnuts on my own anyway. Because, like, the experience won't matter nearly as much. Saw Tangled in theater, didn't really like it. To each their own, that's totally fine, too. Just because a movie is critically acclaimed and most people enjoy it doesn't automatically mean that you have to like it. That said, I'm very easy to please, so... <laughs> Odds are, if it's a critically acclaimed movie that is in a genre I typically enjoy, I'm probably going to give it like a 9 out of 10. Even if it has glaring flaws or plot holes of some type, I'm usually pretty, pretty lenient about that stuff. Or just, like, don't notice. Because my brain only works at, like, half capacity when I'm watching a movie. Why do Kent and Jody have such difficult love gifts? I'm with you on Kent. Jody... Jody has some easy love gifts, right? Doesn't Jody, like, uh... Well, I guess, I mean, I was gonna say diamonds are easy, but, like, in reality, I guess diamonds would be kind of, like, a crazy love gift. Like... Oh, you didn't give me diamonds for my birthday? Oh. Oh, it's fine, I guess. No, no, I like these emeralds too, but you know. Jody loves chocolate cake. Pancakes are not pancakes are not too bad. Jody does have a lot of like cooked food as her as her love gifts, though. That is true. Yo, thank you for the pizza, Shane. I'm not gonna be going to the luau today, so I'll happily you know what? Breakfast pizza. Why not? Eat the pizza. Yummy. Wait, that was a frozen pizza. Oh well. <laughs> Makes my teeth stronger. Buy the star fruit from the luau? I could have. That could that could have been a big brain play to grow to ship the star fruit a little bit earlier. But I mean, I still have, I still have bad memories from the many years where I had to rely exclusively on the Luau for my only starfruit to get the Junmo Huts in the first place. I'm not going to deny that my Junmo is their true purpose now. Breakfast pizza is great pizza. I don't know. 
if I've ever had like a breakfast, like a like a breakfast specific pizza. I've had pizza for breakfast, but not like a pizza designed for breakfast. You know what I mean? Like, is are there pizzas out there? There must be. I mean, there's pizzas for like every occasion, but like a pizza with like bacon and eggs and stuff on it. Definitely bacon. Obviously, that's a that's a classic topping. Eggs, I don't know as much. I don't know so much, but I would definitely... I think it would still be very good. Pizza for breakfast is a staple of college life. The question is, if you have pizza for breakfast, do you heat it up? Are you... Chat, are you a cold or warm pizza for breakfast fan? Specifically for breakfast. Like, I think, like, fresh pizza, you got, you can't beat that when it's, like, nice and fresh and toasty and, and warm. But if you, if it's, like, leftover pizza, are you gonna reheat it, or are you just gonna go and have some cold pizza? So I know a lot of people do love their cold pizza. I'm personally a warm pie type of individual. I like myself a warm pizza pie. Depends on how hungry I am. That's valid. I was gonna say it doesn't take that long to like heat up a pizza, a slice of pizza, but also I've totally been in that situation where I'm like, I know it wouldn't take that long, but I'm hungry right now. I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> One slice cold, eat it while the other ones are in the toaster oven. That's the big brain play right there. You enjoy pizza at room temperature? Yo, it's rare that you actually get to see a tree fall via lightning strike around here. I'll take it. Grab that one there. What do we got here? A few cookies from Evelyn. Thank you. Cookies for breakfast is, is another classic. Can't say I've never had cookies for breakfast and only cookies. You wake up late, you gotta be somewhere, you're like, shoot man, I don't have time to make breakfast and I don't really want to stop anywhere. But you happen to have some stale Chips Ahoy in your pantry. You're like, well, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Alright, I'm gonna go load up a bit more hay here. If you reheat the pizza, it loses flavor, so cold is better. I have never noticed that. I wouldn't say that it's not true necessarily, because I don't know. I don't know your experience, but from my experience, reheating a pizza, I've never noticed a lack of flavor. I would say it's like a different flavor. Like reheated pizza is noticeably different to fresh pizza, but a lack of flavor is not how I would describe that. Bruschetta. It's been a long time since I've had a bruschetta. Someone make this make sense. I do not like tomatoes, hardly at all. Like, I, c I can barely stomach tomatoes at the best of times. I love bruschetta. Make it make sense. I don't, because even I don't fully understand. Because I know, like, they don't really do anything to the tomatoes for bruschetta. There's, like, some spices and stuff in there, right? But, like, <laughs> pizza has tomatoes as well. But it's, like, tomato sauce. Like, like when it's, like, the tomatoes have been processed in some way... Like, whether they, it's been, they've been turned to sauce, whether they've been sun-dried, whether, like, any number of things that they've done to transform the tomatoes, like ketchup or something. Then I think I get a pass and being like, okay, it tastes different enough from tomatoes that it makes sense. But bruschetta? Why does bruschetta taste so not tomato-y? What do they... Like, they must do something to the, to the tomatoes to make it not taste like tomatoes. But as far as I know, it's like tomatoes and maybe some spices on bread. <laughs> Is it just the bread? It's the basil and the vinegar. You know, I could probably, I, th I think the vinegar, I think that's a good shout. The vinegar probably does a lot of heavy lifting in the bruschetta. The basil and vinegar, those are some strong flavors. So maybe that, that helps soften the blow. But still, the fact that I, like... Like, it's not like I'll, like, eat bruschetta if it's there, or, like, oh, I tolerate bruschetta. I will actively, like, seek out bruschetta. If it's on a menu, I will, like, order it. And it's like... 
it's like it still should have a tomatoey enough flavor, but maybe it's just that intense. Maybe the maybe the vinegar and the basil just transforms it like just enough to the precipice of being different from like just raw tomato that it's uh that's palatable in that way. I'm gonna while the Junimos finish this up, I'm gonna go buy some spangle seeds, I guess. So that we can have at least a portion of our uh portion of our summer we'll have a, a, a field of flowers out here. Do I have any spangle seeds left over? I do have four spangle seeds. Takes eight days to grow. We'll have a little bit of time to enjoy it. Spangles, baby. What is this weathered floor doing in my inventory? Where do you go? Where, oh where? Right there. Perfect. All right. Onward. I was saving some for Tub of Flowers. Good call. Good call, Sugar Prince. I only need one for a Tub of Flowers. But you know what? I'll just buy, like... I'll just buy, buy up to, like, 140 Spangle Seeds, like I've been doing previously anyway. Spangle Seeds. Probably don't care to mix in any poppies, do we? Or Sunflower... Oh, a Sunflower Field, though. I, I mean... Sunflower field is kind of typical. We could do it in the fall as well if we wanted to do that. I don't know. We'll do we'll do spangles. Because I don't think I've ever done spangles. I'll buy. Yeah, I'll just get up to 140 there. It's fine. Yeah, fall sunflowers could be nice. This does has have, have the double. The double uh, purpose now of not only being beautiful to look at and fun for the Junimos, but because we're harvesting them now, we can't actually use them for like befriending people in the future. Like you said, like Car like Spangles for Caroline, Sunflowers for Haley. We could do Poppies for Penny at some point. I like that. Starfruit Day, baby. We're like one step removed from what a typical Stardew Valley playthrough looks like. Normally you harvest all the star fruit and then you process it into wine and then you get to like enjoy the enjoy selling it and enjoy the fruits of your labor or put them in casts and and wait like a couple months in game for for that to happen. In our case, we're just going to ship the darn things. Save one star fruit for Kent. I think I'll save like a few star fruit just to, in, like, in case. <laughs> in case of what, I don't know. But in case, like, I want to make... Like, do I need a starfruit for cooking? Why, wait, there's one starfruit that's just here. It's not fully grown yet. That's kind of wild. Okay. Well, it's the one lucky starfruit that could. I guess I didn't water it on the first day, so it's, like, one day behind the rest. It's like the ugly duckling of the starfruit crop. okay. You're still beautiful to me, Starfruit. That said, you're not going to get harvested because I'm going to turn off harvesting until the end of the season. So you just get to enjoy the, the field of flowers. Starfruits aren't used for cooking. I always think one is used for Lucky Lunch, but I don't think it actually is when I really think about it. Lucky Lunch is like sea cucumbers and stuff, but I don't think it's actually Starfruit. I'm going to save the higher quality star fruits here and I'll just ship the 131 normie star fruits. Cuz why not? Blue jazz sea cucumber and tortilla. I should know that. That re that recipe should honestly be burned into my brain cuz we did a lot of that during uh, price perfection. Save normie for for processing if I want. Nah. <laughs> I'll say I'll save the higher quality ones cuz they it, it just feels right to me. That's my own idi idi idiosyncrasy. Where do I put them though is the question. You know what? We can we can overflow some crops into this chest just cuz it seeds doesn't mean it can't also be crops. All right. Starfruit has officially been shipped. And unlike most other shipping goals, we're actually shipping, like, a significant amount of starfruit. 
Instead of just like one piddly little thing and then we're like, pa, goal done. Nah, we're shipping 131. Did, we, did I leave one for Kent's quest? I still have six star fruit because I saved the quality ones. All right. Lock it in, baby. Star fruit shipped. Quick hundred grand, no big deal. I'll take it. Just add it onto the pile of gold. Get some star emojis in chat. Star emojis for my star fruit friends. That I sold. <laughs> I guess they're not really my friends if I sell them. It's okay. Don't befriend your crops, PSA. All right. Well, without further ado, I think it's time to roll ourselves one more goal. Will I complete it this stream? Probably not, because I'm probably going to end the stream momentarily. But, <laughs> but we'll see. If it's really short, if it's a really short goal, there's a chance here. Either way, I'm not going to leave you on a cliffhanger of not knowing what our next goal is at the very least. We're not going to hit 10% tonight in all likelihood. Unless we get a string of very quick goals in rapid succession here. Which, you know, stranger things have happened. Either way. Ship a star fruit. Get her done. 9.6%. Ooh, baby. Skip right over the 9.5. That 10% is so tantalizingly close. It honestly makes me want to stream just a little bit longer. <laughs> seeing how close we are. But let's see if that uh, that motivation continues. Once I roll... Hook Tropical Curry. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> That's not that bad. I just have to get the recipe from Gus on the, on the resort, right? <laughs> That's not terrible. Is that... Wait. Is that terrible or is that not terrible? It's, like, kind of annoying. But we should have everything for that, right? Let me let's do a quick bout of research here, just to make just to, just to make sure. Let me see, tropical curry. Tropical curry. It's a cooked dish recipe on Ginger Island Resort. So we have the resort. So we just have to wait until Gus goes there, and then we can buy the um, we can buy it easily enough. Then we just need coconut, which we get from Sandy, pineapple, and one hot pepper, which I, I, I know we have pineapple. I assume we have hot pepper because we grew a whole bunch of that stuff. Should be fine, yeah. Holy moly, this shirt. Do you see this tropical sunrise shirt? That's so cool. Yo, <laughs> I love that. I've never seen this shirt in my life. Wait, I need to tailor one. I need to cook one, and then I need to tailor it. Foraging plus four? What the heck? I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought tropical curry... Why is tropical curry, like, insane? Wait a minute. I guess it's a kind of a late-game food. <laughs> you get an amazing shirt and plus four foraging? I didn't realize tropical curry was that good. And it's like a love gift for Caroline and Gus. It's delicious. I mean, it definitely sounds delicious. Especially served in a pineapple bowl. Either way. Shirt alert. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have that. We can do, we can go do a quick check just to make sure we have the hot pepper, the pineapple. We probably don't have a coconut on hand, because I think we like used all of our coconuts to trade for golden coconuts in the past. But it's not that big of a deal to get a coconut because we just like Sandy sells them once a week anyway. Let's have a quick check here, just to make sure. Yeah, we can buy- we can literally buy them today, actually. Like, we, I can go buy coconuts right now. We got 21 hot peppers. We've got no pineapples here, but I think I put them in the, uh, in the chest over where the Junimos are, right? I'm already going to the desert for a shirt. Very true. Sandy comes in to save the day once again. Who would have thought? You know what? Just because it is Monday, so we can buy coconuts today, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one ride. I was gonna be like, well, we'll we'll try and tackle this one once we come back on tomorrow's stream, not tomorrow's stream, but Thursday. We do have two pineapples. 
I will take one pineapple just to have it ready to go. But like because it's we can we can buy coconuts today. We have all the ingredients. Let's just see if Gus is going to go to the island resort today. Let's let's just have a have a look see. Let me grab this and this. And I will pay a visit to Sandy as soon as she opens. In fact, we're just going to go sit out front of her out front of her abode. Cuz there is a nice conveniently placed bench over here. So why the heck not? Tropical curry. We could get very lucky. Yeah, like there, like Gus could just go to the go to the island resort today. Who knows? When do they go to the resort? By the way, Museum Grack Reads. Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. By the way, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. I appreciate the chant. I don't know if we're gonna hit ten percent. If Gus is at the island resort today. There's a chance we'll see it through to 10%. If not, I'm probably gonna like call it and then we'll, cause, I, cause like, I, I could be like, oh, but what if he's at the resort tomorrow? Maybe we should just check one more day and then he won't be there and I'll be like, just one more day, just one more day. It's 11 o'clock when they go. That's what I thought, yeah. Sounded familiar. Gus should leave it at approximately 10 a.m. to go to the island. We have not shut down the resort. It's not it's not closed for business right now, so we should be we should see that. I'm happy you could be here as well for the jokes. All right, Sandy, hello. Pleasure doing business. That's that's my shirt. <laughs> Where did you get this? This is Beatrix's shirt. That's like her default shirt. I don't need one of those. All right, I'll buy 10 coconuts because I only need one, but why not have more? This is our third cooking goal. We had complete breakfast. What else did we cook? I'm trying to, because we did have another cooking goal. I'm trying to remember what it was. Glazed yams, glazed yams. Kind of flew under the radar of that one. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go hang out. Hang out outside of Gus's place. Actually, you know what? I'll hang out down on the beach and just see. Assuming it's not raining on Ginger Island, which it could be. I don't actually know. We'll just see like a promenade of people going down to Ginger Island eventually here. So let's just go and I guess you know maybe I should just go to the island. I'll just go I'll just go hang out on the island. There's no reason not to. I can call him. I guess I could have called him as well. I'm just going to go to the island though. We'll see if it we'll see if it's raining and if not I'll probably just like go to bed <laughs> or if it is I'll just go to bed. If not I'll wait and see. Did I open the resort? Never closed it. All right. It is a sunny day. Resort is open, correct? Beach resort is open. We will not temporarily close it tomorrow. I'm just going to wait. You know, I'm going to wait right here because this is where my man Gus. I can't sit on that one. Okay, fair. I'll sit as close as I can then. <laughs> this is where my man Gus is about to show up and make all my dreams come true. And I'm also going to, before anything else here, it still says ship a star fruit in the top left. How embarrassing. Cooking... Tropical curry. Perfect. There it is. Boom. Intimidate them with the frog suit. I'm looking like Mario from Super Mario Brothers 3 out here. Quick little nap with this butterfly. Is it true that some butterflies fly like higher than airplanes? That seems wild. That seems, like, insane to me. Which makes me think, it, think it's not true. Hello. We got Pierre, we got Abigail, we got Leia. We got Caroline. Little family getaway, and Leia's also here. That seems like everybody, huh? No, no stragglers? No stragglers coming down the boat here?
I think that's it. Yeah, it's just it's just the family. It's Pierre's family and Leia. Fair enough. You know what? I'll leave them be. I will leave them be. It's so annoying they don't have a schedule. It would be nice if uh, if he didn't just have to like get lucky to get Gus to come here to give you the the recipe. If you could actually like just go off of a schedule or something, but it's all good. All right. I will sleep on the island next to my lovely futon bear. Put my ingredients in the fridge and stick around. Good call. Might as well. Right next to my obsidian edge. Perfect for cutting the pineapple. I'll lock it in. I can cook the curry at my house. That does sound nice, actually. It is tropical curry, after all. Cook it on Ginger Island. Can't wait. Either way, that is going to have to wait until next time on Randomized Perfection. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, lovely escapade today. We didn't get through as many goals as I was hoping that we would. We only got through literally two goals. We rolled the third one. We didn't get through it, though. Hold on, let me just write it down, too. Tropical Curry. There we go. But it is, yeah, it's getting a little late for me. So I'm going to go ahead and head off and, uh, and do some other stuff. But I will be back on Thursday, early on. Cass has a, has a good point. What did Cass say? But consider Frog. Consider Frog, you say. Consider Frog. Hold on a minute. You do have a good point. Wait, we're cooking here? We're cooking? Consider Frog? What do you think? Should I end the stream off? Should I, should I, do you think I should end the stream off right now? Ribbit, good to see you again, Bombo friend. I hope you are growing to big Bombo fruit, bub. Well, that settles it. I have to go end the stream so I can grow more big Bombo fruit. <laughs> For Frog. Thank you all for joining me for this fun stream. I will see you hopefully on Thursday if you can make it. Or Friday if you can't. Maybe. Either way. I'll see you when I see you. Until then though. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a good night everyone. Bye bye. Thank you.